So here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I am Mike. I'm Jay. And Friday Night Frights is back. Friday Night Fights. It doesn't feel like a Friday. It really doesn't. It feels like a Tuesday or some shit. You know? Yeah, it feels weird. I got to go to church. Yeah, Tuesday night church. Feels like a Sunday. No, I mean like a Sunday. I could get that kind of. It just yeah. feels like a I got to go get right with the day. Lord. Yeah, but it feels better now because we're here with you folks. Uh, it does. It's fucking snowing outside. It's cold as shit here in Kentucky. Is it? Uh, yeah. Well, it's been snowing all day. I don't know if it's snowing right this second, but it's definitely oh. fucking winter in this piece of shit state. <clears throat> yeah. It's Excuse colder me. than Courtney Love's vagina. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> fucking corpsey. Corpsey. Oh. By the way, I do I do want to... Uh, I am woman enough to admit that I made a mistake on the last stream. It was Sam Hain that was written across the board in Halloween 2. Just so you folks know about it, I will I'm, be woman enough and admit my mistakes. I'm not like these other bitches. I'll admit um, when I'm wrong. <laughs> um, actually, it's Sawin. It's not Sam Hain. It's not spelled with a W. What an illiterate <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I, I posted something like that on Twitter the other day. I was like, what's worse? Like, um, actually, guys, or actual serial killers? Because there's nothing worse when someone's like, I posted this thing on Twitter the other day. It was a it was a trailer, right? Or it was the, it was a the Leatherface thing, and like two people were like, "Um, actually, that was a teaser." There's a difference between a teaser and a trailer. I'm like, "Oh, shut the fuck up, Greg!" I always imagine they've got like big ass Coke bottle glasses. They're like, "Um, actually, uh, you're wrong because uh, in 1971, <laughs> when the original script came out, it was." And I'm like, "I don't give a shit. You need to go touch grass and get a woman." <laughs> Oh, uh, I uh no, we are not in Wisconsin, my good man. We are in Kentucky. Um Can game dungeon. The home of the fried chickens. Yeah, where it's probably gonna be 90 degrees and balmy tomorrow. And mm -hmm. the next day we will have a blizzard. Uh but we shouldn't be bitching because as somebody said, there is like two feet of snow in fucking Buffalo right now. So I know uh, I saw. think uh I think it was uh I read somewhere that Erie, Indiana had to put out some kind of uh travel ban just ahead of they're supposed to be getting a shit ton of snow. That reminds me of Erie, Indiana. What was the name of that show? Was it just Erie, Indiana? I think it was called Erie. Oh, I don't Lake know. Erie? TV. No. What's the name of that fucking show? What I know you... what you're talking about. Indiana Hoosiers. Erie. No, in Erie, Indiana. The show. <laughs> it was, it was the Bob Knight Hoosiers. No, if you don't, if the... you don't watch out, old Bob Knight will choke your ass. <laughs> He's actually scarier than anything. I hate yeah, that guy. I wouldn't want to be him. Or his his player. He's a fucking abusive piece of didn't shit. Didn't he? What that is? Didn't he choke his own son? I don't know if it was his son. I know he choked somebody. I think it was his son. I was like, don't fuck with that guy. That guy literally choke slammed his own son. You better nothing... fucking do those goddamn suicide drills, bitch, and don't complain. <laughs> There's nothing worse than those coaches who are like that. Like, that's why I hate Nick Saban. He, like, goes off and freaks out and is always having a fucking heart attack about everything. It's like, dude, calm the fuck down. You've won, like, eight championships. You coach college football. You coach kids. You yeah. fucking nutbag. Well, kids with, like, uh, like lottery. Well, some of them with lottery tickets stitched all over their face. True. But by yeah. the way, uh, who was that one coach? I don't even know if he's still there. He was a fucking prick. He was, I mean, I didn't really mind Bobby Knight. Like, you know, Bobby Knight was a character. He's an asshole, but he was whatever. But there was this one dude that coached, what's his name? The guy with the glasses. He really thought Indiana was like hot shit, dude. Oh, Tom Cream. Tom, oh, God damn. I hated Tom. Yeah, it wasn't Tom Cream. Was the guy with the glasses. Yeah. Tom yeah, Cream. Yeah, Ola Tom Dopo Cream. or Ola got, Depot. Ola Depot. Yeah. He just got fired a couple of years ago from yeah, Indiana. God, that guy looked like he smelled like vomit. Yeah, he he looked like a uh, he looked like Rick Moranis mixed with a bully. He looked you know yeah, what I mean? he, like if if Rick Moranis was a bully. Yeah, he looked like that or like Rat King from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I can see that for sure. First super chat of the night comes from oh, it's the second one. I missed it. Yeah, I'll go back to you there. Sorry. Uh, it says uh, Michael Myers. Thanks, man. He says it's so nice to have a fight with all the cold out there. Yeehaw! Ooh. Hope y'all doing well. Anything new you two have checked out via streaming? Well, there was this new uh, this new gay porn that I was interested in watching, but I had I to turn this. it off because my Bi my Bible study was coming over. Um, yeah. No, actually, I don't know what str like streaming was. I don't think I don't. Uh, I, I was I have um I have it on um like in my list is to watch that new uh, Tulsa King. Mike was telling me about with Sylvester Stallone. I that haven't watched awesome. it yet though. That looks awesome. Uh, I, did, I watched Yellowstone, the uh, premiere of season five, uh, two hour special. It's pretty good. I actually thought they kind of, it wasn't as good as like the previous seasons, but it was all right. Yeah. It was okay. And then uh, I saw the menu in theaters. That was not on streaming. It was in theaters. It's good, dude. Uh, you're going to like that when you check it out. What is it? It's called The Menu. It's got Ralph Fiennes mm. in it. And he's mm. like a psycho chef and like murdering people. It's awesome. It's so it's the opposite of uh, th that one movie with, uh, what's his name? That, uh, Silver Linings Playbook. Was it called Chef or whatever? Remember that movie? It was like 
What the fuck was that movie called? Uh, it was called Chef. With no, uh, it wasn't. But he was. Yeah, but there was another movie with the John Favreau. Oh, John. Fa yeah, John Favreau was in a movie called Chef. And That's the one Brad I was thinking of. Yeah. The okay. Yeah. Brad Bradley Cooper played a chef in a movie that I didn't watch because it was self. I think. Yeah, I remember that. No, that one with uh with uh, Bradley Cooper was more like he was trying to be like um uh, uh, you know, an ass uh, like uh Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, this is awesome. I honestly think the guy should win an Oscar for it. It was fucking dope. Thanks, though, man. Uh, Yega, I missed you. Did I miss Yega? No, he was on the next one. I don't know what's happening to my life. Uh, Inky, though. <laughs> Thanks, Inky. Appreciate that. Says, hey, guys, I wish I could stick around tonight, but this week has been exhausting for me, and I need rest. My dad spent most of the week in the hospital, but is doing better now. Thankfully, love y'all. Sorry to hear man, that, Inky. That sucks. Glad to hear he's doing better, though. Yeah, um, take all the time you need. We'll still be here <laughs> mediocre ever next week. Hell yeah. And if we're not also in the hospital, <laughs> um, no, um, thank you so much for that. Hope you have a good night. And you know what? Hey, get your rest, get your sleepies. This will be up. You'll go come back and, and, and watch this whole thing, Inky. But uh, good luck to your dad. Hope everything turns out well. And it, it sounds hard. like it is. Everything is going to be all right. I had my, my lines crossed backwards, by the way. Jager Bomb, what's up, dude? Uh, says rumor has it blumhouse is remaking christine if this is true would it be good with tesla and uh with a tesla and ai takeover or has that been done too much i mean if you want a movie about uh something blowing itself up and, and becoming a, a murderous monster overnight speaking of tesla you could just look at elon musk and twitter in real life but <laughs> i'm pretty sure they just made christine with halloween ends right now be careful because Elon Musk will hear that and ban your ass off Twitter. He takes he no probably, prisoners. He says, "Fuck you." He probably pay your eight dollars, bitch. <laughs> By the way, I was telling Mike, you know what's interesting about that? We can finally get our blue check mark. <laughs> I don't give a shit about. It. He's like, "Yeah, we'll just buy that shit and we'll just act like we uh, we we always deserved it." But as far as Tesla and AI take over, yeah, I guess they could do that. But but he kind of reminds me of the, 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 the in which I did like the Chucky remake where they did the AI thing. I don't know. You could do it, but it's like it's already kind of like territory that's been wandered through with the Chucky I, remake. Yeah, I think if, if they if if I had the control over a Christine remake, I would do what they did with the flashback and Halloween Kills, and I would actually go back and I would recreate. I would do a period piece in the '80s, but just you know make everything flow a little bit better. I'm not the biggest Christine guy. I thought that movie had a lot more problems than people ever talk about, but I, I would like to see him just do it in the '80s with. I keep it. Cars. I, I would keep Car Supernatural. Yeah. Yeah, but I get what you're saying, Diego, because now now cars have uh you imagine what you imagine if, if a car got uh possessed, what it could do with like the, the background camera, like when you back up and the camera oh, comes off. I don't have one of those like, saying Dude, crazy shit to you. My shit would be the weakest Christine of all time. You're talking about a 2013 Hyundai Elantra. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out. Here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody'd be scared of that fucking thing. You're like, no, Shut the fuck up. Hyundai Elantra coming to get you. It's like I'll wait. <laughs> like it's all right. <laughs> um Fuck! I knew this would happen. Uh, I'm, dude, I'm sick as fuck. I got you. Huh? Oh, you can't. Re I was gonna do the accent. Oh, I thought you meant I got it. Like I'm sick. Oh like, no! I don't. No, I don't even know what you have. Uh, Herpes? I don't know. Uh, well, that that's that's a given. Um, turkeys and herkies and uh, all. Hopefully, the, it's all, not. All, well, H1N1 is about. going around though. So hopefully, you didn't make that up. Because <laughs> well, I was just up there. No, that's why I was asked if you were sick. Uh, MJ woke up sick yesterday, and then uh, she sounded awful, and she went to the doctor, and she got tested for flu and all that, and, and it was negative. So I guess it's just, I don't know if it's RSV that's going around or what's going on, but the whole fucking house is sick now. Dude, we all got fucking temperatures, and we're coughing our fucking faces up. It's terrible. Yeah. So enjoy that. I'm not going to get it. <laughs> that's I the refuse. way to go. You I speak refuse. it out there. and then, I know. And I, I put it out in the universe and say, no way. Get back. <laughs> Smart. But yeah, yeah, you go ahead and read that while I try right. to catch my so Texas Tootin coming in hot with them goddamn pussies as his profile pic wants us to know he got some he got me got me some Popeye's chicken for dinner, boys. Oh yeah. I want to see Gary Busey from Predator 2, Fat Chucky and his friends. Also, a girl <laughs> spoke Swahili to my corn dog yesterday. Well, that ain't no Texan <laughs> fucking girl, then now is it? It's a goddamn Sawilin or whatever the fuck that is. Get it out of there. Ain't no room in Texas for that bullshit. As far as Gary Busey fighting Predator, he'd beat that ass. You see what he does around conventions? He'd beat the fuck out of it and take it to his room. Wasn't Gary Busey and then in fuck Predator? It. Was that Nick Nolte? I always get him confused. It was Gary Busey. Predator 2. Yeah, Predator 2. He says she spoke Swahili to his corn dog. <laughs> isn't, Swa isn't Swahili, uh, isn't that Hawaiian? I don't know. I'm stupid. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I bet it, it just reminds me of Swahili Hatahiga. <laughs> you know, I want to lay you past the Kong drums. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Wyatt Atley says, hey, guys, I hope everyone is well tonight. Let's have us a great stream. I like that attitude, Wyatt. Yes, sir. Good man. Yes, sir. Yeah. We'll get on get it done. Wyatt Atley. We're going we're gonna to try our best, man. Well, you know, Wyatt Atley planet. sounds like – he. your name sounds like somebody that would enter into like a bodybuilding competition and stun everybody by winning it. <laughs> and nobody would see Wyatt Atley coming and That's winning the, the, the Mr. Universe title. Or, Ms. <laughs> or Atlas. That was strong. Yeah, you, you need to be a fucking wrestler, dude. That sounds like a nice rest. Maybe I'm just thinking Bray Wyatt. I don't like that guy. So never mind, Wyatt. You're cooler than that fucker. Um, but he could be somebody in like a tombstone movie. Wasn't Watch Bray out for a while isn't Bray, coming around? Bray Wyatt, wasn't he the 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 ghost thing or whatever that they kind of oh uh, was he? I'm I'm thinking of the corny dude who's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, uh, and the, the spandex that and the underwear. I know you're talking uh, about he's got red hair. No, Not I think Bray uh, Wyatt was the cool one. Yeah, you're thinking of uh, I know who you're fucking talking about. I guarantee somebody in the chat's already said it. Yeah, that Daniel Bryan. I was thinking of Daniel, Daniel Bryan. Bryan I think yeah, was yeah. his name. Uh, that fucking guy. Uh, he annoys me, dude. I went on. Tw- I was watching one of those pay per views because that's all I ever watch is pay per views, and I was like, this dude's corny as hell, and I got attacked by the whole wrestling universe. Well, because like, he- shut the fuck up, that guy's amazing. You don't know what he's been through. I'm like, sorry. Well, no, he's got like. Uh, <laughs> he also did something really nice for some kid that had cancer and stuff. He's actually a really like giving like he's like john cena i guess he gives back a lot no oh, well i think he's a shitty so you're an wrestler. asshole mike i think he's a shitty wrestler i mean i don't know, I don't know. what do you want me to do your what face do do? is a shitty wrestler it is <laughs> I put it in between butt cheeks and go <laughs> no i lose uh, every time <laughs> chad power says mike and jay versus jake and paul Lo- Lo- logan paul box mess i would do that shit and i bet we'd fucking win too i'd bite those sons of bitches put me in there let's go would i would just demon- I, you know i would just show him a demonetization letter <laughs> you and get in there I, with me? I, yeah, I'd, I'd th- show up that old video of the suicide force. Be like, are you guys canceled again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck those guys. I would do that shit. You ruined. Boxing, you know, you know I don't. Is shit. it is it Jake Paul? Is that the one that just fought and beat? Uh, what's his name? Um, I get him confused. I don't know which one it was, but I don't. But even Rogan gave him props. He's like, he legitimately beat that guy. Like he's like, you know, he is actually doing well. But he he's yeah. supposed to be the one that's uh, fighting Tyson Fury's little brother. Yeah, no, so he he won't actually fight a boxer, though. He keeps fighting retired MMA dudes. And well, the guy that – I think the guy that he just beat was legit, though. He was old. He was a, he, he was a old UFC fighter, but he's but never he was still a like, boxer. But he, but he didn't fight – it wasn't like he fought, like, what that fucking NBA player that he beat, Harold Miner. Mm. Was that – that was a – yeah. Yeah, but I'm just saying he won't – he refuses to fight an actual boxer. Well, if he ever he fights – I I would love to see – is it what is it, Jake Fury? I can't remember Tyson Fury's little brother's name, but I, I think he'd get fucked up. I think that's a guy that would fuck him up. That's why I and, fight him. And he's above, like, getting paid off. Yeah. Because he, he's Tyson I mean, Fury's and, and, little brother. That's true, too. We don't know how many of this motherfucker she's paid off. Michael Parton, good to see you, buddy. He says – I will miss you guys next week because I'll be in Porta Valorta for Ooh. Thanksgiving week and probably getting wasted. Hey, I heard that's hey, a all right. ass fucking place, man. Uh, get get wasted. Was Live it up. Do all Can the things come? you got to do. Have a good time. Be safe. Put get some ass. Trunk. Have some good times. Put us in your fucking trunk, dude. I want to go. I've never been outside the United States. Porta. Because I have warrants. Where is that at? Is that Mexico? Uh, yeah. I only yeah. assume because it says Porta. <laughs> yeah it sounds mexican it could it be colombia i don't know mm-hmm. i think katie's been there didn't you go to puerto vallarta puerto vallarta you dumb bitch yeah puerto vallarta no, no. stop puerto, puerto vallarta puerto vallarta puerto vallarta vincenzo 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 that'd be like you'd be like steven seagal when you went there and be like oh yes i want to go to puerto vallarta they'll be like hey man i speak english you don't have to use like no mas <laughs> <laughs> hey, I hope you have fun, dude. I hope you have a fucking blast. Get trashed. Have a good time. Jeffrey says, I'm in total right now. What the hell's that smell? That's your, That's your intestines falling out of your butthole. <laughs> you gotta go to the doctor, sir. They are getting you. But uh uh Courtney says, Who wins out if Aaron Rodgers versus the water boy? Um, who wins out of Aaron Rodgers versus the water boy? Well, this season the water boy probably beat his fucking ass. Johnny Moxon from Varsity Blues. Yeah, and, and it won't Aaron cost Rogers. anybody fifty million dollars to keep him on. Yeah, god damn. He sucks. <laughs> water boy will do it for fucking free and some boobies. Man, them bitches gave me hope last Sunday, Courtney. They beat the Cowboys. I thought, season's not over. We ain't dead. And then last night, they went out there and put a big old stinky on the football field and lost the Titans. Season's over. I'm fucking depressed. Life sucks. Well, in other news, though, uh, Kentucky Wildcats beat a hard opponent last night, South Carolina State. Let's give it up. 
Go yeah. Big Blue. South Carolina State was good as fuck. <laughs> fucking Kentucky okay. football lost to Gandhi at Vanderbilt at home. Yeah, because we're Vanderbilt great. is like the fucking shit sandwich of college football. Well, we wore the shit sandwich like four or five years ago. So yeah, this fucking sucks, dude. God damn. What the fuck is this name right here? Uh <laughs> Andy <laughs> Matic at the honey glazed bacon burgers. Now that sounds like a McDonald's <laughs> special right there. <laughs> what is up with everybody in the crazy Andy uh, Matichek names? There's like two people on the on the Patreon that made Andy names, and there's like people that it's fucking weird. You guys, what are you? Oh, doing? but dude, look at his. Uh, pr- that's a badass ghost face. It looks like he's got a zipper. Going that, yeah, all the way it's, it's, his it body. looks like a goddamn uh, a Cobra Kai ghost face, but I like it goes it. All, all the way to his nut sock. It says, "Hear me out." The Rock's character from Skyscraper versus Pinhead would be an interesting battle. Uh, did anybody Ooh. watch Skyscraper? Is the question. I did, but I don't know if anyone. No, else but did. I've seen a skyscraper before. <laughs> <laughs> I've never uh, watched one though. <laughs> we do got to do that, by the way. Um, um, I, I appreciate that, but I don't think that. I think that Pinhead would fuck that dude up. He's just I, I, he's like he's basically the Rock. It'd be Pinhead versus the Rock. We know who would win that, right? I think Pinhead's pretty much unbeatable unless you put him against someone like Doctor Phil, who can get down to his feelings and let him know that he used to be <laughs> Elliot Spencer. And they're like, really? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. Funny. That's a good point. Yeah, he just needs a good psychologist. Danger Zone says Mike talk about wrestling sounds like Jay talking about football. You're goddamn right. I well, know you know what? Actually, that Dan Gerzone, uh, that's untrue. I know all of the Giants from the 1990s. Okay, let me tell you something about Phil Sims and Stephen Baker and Lawrence Taylor and Gary Reasons and Pepper Johnson. Who else can we want? Didn't, I can't believe you didn't. Break David Megan, Otis Megan. Anderson. Oh! I said it right when you did. Yeah. You always say the same fucking players. Yeah, but uh, uh, there's also Hamilton, who was the backup for uh, for Megan, and he wasn't even that good, but I always liked Hamilton him. Hamilton what? I don't, his last name was Hamilton. I don't know his first name. He wasn't good enough for me to remember it. It Was it was, was he it, on the $10 No, No, you know, it was Hampton. It was Hampton. His last name was Hampton. <laughs> Irving Fryer was a great giant. Yeah, Irving Fryer was not a giant. <laughs> oh, Irving, Fry, Irving Fryer was Dallas Cowboy. No, he was on the Miami Dolphins. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Danger Zone. I don't, I don't know shit about wrestling, man. I well, I don't. I really knew don't. about it. I like, but you know, I only knew that because I watched. Yeah. Uh, I watched that little boy that had uh, cancer and stuff, and they gave him like it was a really cool th- a documentary that WWE did. Yeah, well, there's lots of pieces of shit wrestlers who do nice things for cancer, Jay. Like who? Uh, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's jealous of those muscles uh, that those, tri- those tri- men tri- have. They, he's, also, he's the only one who doesn't have any damn muscles. He looks who? like a fucking CrossFit boy. Well, that's Daniel, true. He does. Well, he does not, well, I wouldn't want to fuck with him. He knows how to move. Hi, ah, man. He looks like he actually looks the like only one that I well, I. well, you could you could say Hulk Hogan's kind of a big turd, and he did stuff for like yeah, he's a big piece of shit. Yeah, he's a huge piece of shit. That's a huge bitch. Uh, the bonk. Look at that fucking scary ass Woody puppet, dude. <laughs> That's like, that, is that Woody from Toy Story? That's Woody that, from Toy Story. If you've like done three lines of acid, it looks like you put a, a Woody hat on your nutsack. Is it uh, lines of acid, or do you do like three hits of acid? No, I'm I think pretty it's sure it's hits. definitely it's hits. Yeah, it's yeah. like litmus papers. Yeah, whatever. Um, you don't do lines of acid. I, I don't, don't care. Kill you. I'll do it all. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard of some of the mumblings about how gore, action, heavy Scream Six is going to possibly hell's. Yeah, man, that's what they've been saying out there in them streets. They say I, there's chase I, scenes. They say there's gore. They say there's action, and I like it. It sounds like a movie. It does it sounds like a it sounds like a movie that they're going to put together. <laughs> that's cool. It is. I don't know. I, I you know, I actually, I, I said that uh, I thought like Scream Five was pretty good. I, like, I was actually pleasantly surprised about how good it was. Yeah, man. I think I didn't think it was amazing or anything, but it was, I thought it was good. So you're gonna go see Scream Six then? I mean, it's still not my favorite franchise. Does it have to be your favorite franchise for you to fucking watch it, Jay? Well, it's kind of like one of those things. It's like, hey, I really, I, you know, going to the dentist wasn't that bad. Do I prefer to go there every six months? No, but will I have to? Probably. I'm very confused by that analogy. No, it's because you you know it, it wasn't as scary as you thought it was going to be, and then you're like, yeah, but I don't like going there. But it was all right. The guy was really nice and touched me in private places when I was under. I understand. The, I understand the dentist part of it. I just don't understand. Yeah. You know what? Shut up. Just shut. Just shut mm-hmm. your shut your mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. Mass Matt says, "Be honest," and maybe the chat can respond with the number one. How many of us have beat it to JLC and True Lies? <laughs> hey, press. One uh, on can the I keyboard put, if you've done that? Hold on, look, Mike. I didn't do anything. Oh, wait. I didn't press it. I didn't put it the right one. 
Was that was that you that did it? Or I mean, some oh, I can't chat. I can't chat. We watched. I did said. in the private chat. <laughs> yeah, I did it a lot. Weird. Yeah, that was one of the. <laughs> did you see what I played? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, hundred percent. Yeah, that was. Oh my god, JLC broke a lot of hearts that evening. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a that was a weird time. Uh, at press two, if you also beat it to Arnold Schwarzenegger in the corner. Well, yeah, well, he's like, do it slow. <laughs> I recorded on my own tape recorder. Yeah, and I start I, when I when I need to slow down. He tells me you're going to come. Uh, Dr. Thanks, buddy. Says Busta versus Corey. Um, I think, well, I mean, Corey's got, he's imbued with some supernatural s- situations. Uh, so he probably win, but I mean, just in the, it's Buster Rhymes. I don't know. I'm going to take Corey just because I don't like fucking Buster at all. Buster Rhymes he ain't no soundbite though. Fuck it. We'll put that as the first fucking one. Uh, no, that does, that does, actually, that doesn't count. Those are two. Oh, shit. Shit. Hang on. That's not even action versus horror, but well, I, I Corey's technically horror. Yeah. Buster, I need a bit. He's been in an action movie. Yeah, but I think he means the the Busta from H8. Oh, no. uh, horror sci-fi and beyond says favorite horror of each decade from the 30s to the 2020s. Jesus Christ! Fucking what do you want a goddamn book report, man? Well, his name is horror sci-fi and beyond. Two hours. Horror sci-fi and beyond dot com, where I gather all the tomes of people that. <laughs> no way, sir. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know shit from that. Well, I remember. I remember when I. First saw the automobile being made in 1901. That was a 1901 in the first. I guess the 30s would have to be Nosferatu. Is that the 20s? Fuck, I don't even know. I'm <laughs> said, this motherfucker said, "Here's two dollars. I want a 17-page book report by 7 p.m. tonight. <laughs> get it on my desk." That was like my third grade oh. teacher. If you do it, <laughs> if you do it, you get a fucking uh, you get a shitty NBA card that nobody be- wants. To be fair, I, I don't, I'm not bringing up the super. We appreciate the super chat. No, it was I, awesome. I, Thank you. Yeah. You could have, you could have, you could have super chat five hundred dollars, and we would have been able to answer that on the spot. Dude, I, <laughs> that was funny. Spot. No, it was no, my, it was uh, my fourth grade teacher, Mr. Flaherty. You remember him? He would give out like it was a math teacher. He would give out like sh- like he would like ask you to solve really hard ass goddamn math, and I hate math. And it would be like solve this, and if you did it right, he'd give you an NBA card. They were always like shitty fucking like dirty ass tops that he had in. He probably just found them in his junk drawer and pulled them out. I got like Sean Kemp. Oh, not Sean, we had, no, not Sean. Sean Bradley. I got fucking Sean Bradley. I was, I was like, say, Sean Kemp's hell? not that bad. That's no Sean. Good. I had a Sean Kemp card. I like Sean Kemp from the Sonics. Yeah. you got to do something with all those extra non-insert cards that you get in the nineties, mm-hmm. though. I guess so. That's smart. Gary in the game says, "Yo, Jay, what if you went to Morphicon and Austin St. John flicked your ear and then put you in a headlock? How would you react?" <laughs> I'd give him <laughs> so a twink- specific. I, I'd give him a twinkie and say, "Tommy's better." You call him fat. No, I just say that he wants a Twinkie because obviously he's mad. I don't so, care. Next I was say John I'm apparently is a fake fan. fuck. Actually, hey, that guy but, the, you but, but the truth, but the truth is, I I would actually just I would actually would I would say what's wrong, Austin? Do you need a hug? Do you want to have your place returned on as leader of the team? It won't happen. But I will say I like Tommy as a character better. Or I like the Green Ranger better. But in real life, Austin St. John is legit, and uh, Tommy Tommy's a legit, I guess, martial artist, but he's an asshole. He's a fucking prick. So I can't stand uh, Tommy. What's his name? Uh, there's Austin St. John and uh, uh, Tommy David Saint Dick Face. David Saint Dick Face. Frank and fucks. Frank and dicks. Fingers. Frank and hot yeah. dog dicks. Hawk and balls. Hot pe- hot boiled peanuts. That's what it is. JD, thank you so much. For that I really hey. appreciate that, man. So nice of you to stop by with giant bags of money. Uh, drop it at the door, and I give you a hand job in parking lot behind the apple bits. Give uh, this is- man his money. <laughs> yes. Hey, cuties. Good to see your faces on Friday night. Got the rare chance to be around for my brother-in-law's first time watching Scream with nothing spoiled. Oh, that's cool. The uh, 1996 original, that's badass. He was right. convinced it was Billy and Tatum. Have a great show. He got hey, half of it, right? That's awesome, man. Yeah, I I I don't See, that's always weird to me like to actually find people that have never seen like the the classics like that, like Scream or Halloween or Nightmare on Elm Street or any of that. I mean, you see it all the time on YouTube, which I call bullshit on an 85% of those first time watching that's horse shit, but there are occasions out there that do happen where people have never seen them before. But that's awesome that you got to experience that with your brother in law. Yeah, dude. Did he get it, scared? Was there a lot of jump scares? Like, oh my god! Seriously, uh, her head went in the fucking <laughs> garage door thing. 
I took MJ, uh, my 12 year old to see it. I'm pretty sure she had watched parts of it at home with me before, but we got to see like the, the anniversary in the theater and took her to see it. Oh. That was a cool experience too. That was awesome. But yeah, dude, screen your first time watching screams really fucking cool. Like that's, that's, that's a really, really special one. That's awesome, man. I have a really and, bad and, habit of when I do it, when I take somebody that, or if I know for a fact, no one's ever seen what I do it, I'll be watching it. And then I do that corner. I think like, I'm looking at them like this. I'm like, you're the fucking worst about that. That's a, if I had to change I, I, I'm a like, single thing about your personality, just like you as a whole, if God gave me I'm the like, power, I, I would change you fucking doing that. Jay and, will show and, you and, a video. And it's like, why are you looking at this? Like, Cause you're not reacting the way I want you to react. Yeah. Jay will show you a fucking video. He'll give you his like, watch this dude. It's hilarious. And then while you're watching it, Jay just face just comes into your career. <laughs> I did like I, like I fucking wrote it. It's like I wrote it. It's like it's like uh, it's like my kid performing at their first th theater or something. And I want you to say, "Oh, it was so good." <laughs> it's like that scene in Thor four where he where he's like he's like you know what they say? Just look at the eyes of somebody you love, and then his face comes into the frame. <laughs> Dude, I, I I've watched uh, my wife do it before, and she'll like she'll like not do the reaction that I want. I'm like, all right, if you don't want to watch it, it's fine. <laughs> like if it's a seat, I'm like, if you don't want to watch it, we'll just turn it off because I'm not gonna waste my time watching it if you're not even interested in watching it. And she's like, Why? I'm not reacting it the way that you want me to react to it. I'm like, then you get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I do think, by the way, that Tatum, uh uh, I was watching it a couple months ago for like the seven thousandth time, and I thought to myself, Man, fuck, they really set up Tatum to be a killer in this movie. Like, just if you watch like the 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 little the beats that the movie hits and stuff like that. Mm. Tatum seemed like a killer until about like halfway through, probably about actually when she actually fucking died. I never thought I, it, I never thought it could be Tatum. I didn't until this one time, and then I started noticing, and I was like, Motherfucker. It felt like what the movie was trying to tell you was like Billy was an obvious choice, but I think that they were trying to say Jamie Kennedy character had to be the other one. Oh, this is a perfect time, by the way, that you brought this up to do uh, uh, that. You guys, we're going to let you guys pick uh, a lot of the fights tonight, but I did have one specific one to start off the Friday night fights. Um, I'm gonna put the poll in now. Start up, start to poll. Let your viewers weigh in. Um, you sound like Jim Carrey from In Living Color. Hey, <laughs> do you want to get ripped and pumped? Okay, here we go. This lead all the way down, girls. <laughs> uh, Riggs and Murtaugh. So, Riggs and Murtaugh from uh, Lethal Weapon against Stu and Billy from Scream. Who wins that fight? Yeah. By the way, we're not voting, so you guys have the power of Grace yeah, Skull. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give our opinions on it, but we're not. I ain't gonna talk it. about it. All right. That's what the. Have you ever done this show before? I I ain't doing Are it. You Fuck fucking you. new here. This is a ballot. Okay. It's we not, shouldn't be like we should be influencing the voters. That's the whole fucking point. What are we gonna be like, Arizona, shit. Maricopa County? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know. All, I know uh, all right. That. So, well, I think it's easy for me. It's Riggs and Myrtle wins that shit. Um, I mean, literally, uh, Riggs is uh, Riggs is yeah, fucking suicidal. He doesn't give a shit. I agree. I agree with you. Uh, it, I, you know, I fucking, you know, you know, my love. For oh, Billy but you didn't Bruce, specify. But... See, that'd be interesting if you're saying Riggs and Murtaugh lethal weapon one or Riggs and Murtaugh lethal weapon four, because that lethal weapon four, Riggs has got a family. He's different. Let's go with least lethal weapon one. He's yeah, then he's like, well, then he right. wins hands down. Yeah. Uh, I think I think they win. Yeah, I think they crack that fucking case and they kill the shit out of Billy and Stu. Uh, yeah. Probably before that, even half of that. I, I bet they get them killed before the even party at Stu's house happened. You mm -hmm. know, and then and then and then Riggs Riggs has got a gun to Stu and Stu's like, my mom and dad are gonna be so mad at me. And then Riggs is like, don't be sad. Here, have a French fry. It would be amazing to see. That, that would be the fucking yeah. And then make fan films. That's a fan film. Lethal Weapon versus Scream. Yeah, and then uh, and then somebody uh, Stu would try to stab him or something, and then uh, Mel Gibson Riggs would give a crazy eyes. He goes, "Ooh!" And then he would stab himself. He's like, "It doesn't hurt." <laughs> he would do. He would. That's what Riggs would do. He'd be like, "Give me the knife. Watch this." <laughs> just and then and then Murtaugh would walk and be like, "Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Riggs! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Riggs!" <laughs> He won't think it. He is suicidal. I'm getting too oh, old for this shit. shit man. Goddamn! Now I just want to watch *Lethal Weapon*. That's all I want to fucking do. Um, that's amazing. I don't know why, but Gary Nguyen says your mom is a flapper. How'd you know? <laughs> I don't know what that's in reference to. I don't know. Uh, Texas Tootin said drunk Mel Gibson versus the Cinnabites would be top tier. I ate too much of that goddamn Popeyes. My cigar cutter gonna hate me tomorrow. Is that what's your cigar? Oh, is that your pooper? <laughs> My cigar. Because it cuts it off. Let me tell you something, Tex Tootin. I think you're one of the finest men I ever talked to in my life, except for uh, you know, uh 
Willie Nelson. Uh, but nonetheless, I think you're a disgusting piece of shit for bringing up your cigar cutter here in a polite conversation. Drunk Mel Gibson versus the Cinnabites might be a good ass goddamn time, but you better not be within 50 miles of that fire because you're going to get sucked into hell, boy. Hey, are you okay with the jealous with the fast hand? I don't know. I don't know why that popped in my head just now. It just did. Cody Buchanan says, when Spielberg goes to the barber, do you think he asks for the director's cut? <laughs> yeah. 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 He probably does. He probably does ask for the director's cut. No more than uh, fucking uh, James Cameron does, too. <laughs> D Mitch says, would it be dope if Netflix made a Power Rangers series like Cobra Kai, like having the same team coordinate the fights and the dialogue thoughts, boys? Yeah, I don't. I love it. I don't look I, um, the emotional beats, the comedy, all that shit. Perfect. The fights are the fights in Cobra Kai really that awesome. Yeah, dude, the 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 the, uh, the, the was it the second the high school fight scene was fucking great. That was a badass scene. And yeah, then the, the uh, tournament couple, scene. But- a lot of them are pretty fucking. Well, the the crazy. tournament scene in the first season was great. I don't know. I think that they could. I think that. Well, I I thought Netflix was doing that. Weren't they doing a Power Rangers series that's going to be more serious and more focused on adult themes? They're rebooting it, or remaking the universe. Which, by the I way, I was, will say, I like the uh, the movie. By the way, the movie was good. I think they should have just got, kept going with that. I did too. I like the movie a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't think it was ever supposed to go to Netflix. No, I saw that Red Rising. No, they, they, I swear they're, they're making a they're they're making a TV show. You got that from we got this covered. No, I swear to God, it didn't. No, you heard that at the Burger King. No, I got I got it from uh, I got it from uh, Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I was on Reddit and Twitter for days. <laughs> <laughs> A viewer non told me it must be true. Um, okay. So let's check it out. Let's see who won the fight. And it looks like R- the crowd agrees with us. Riggs and Murtaugh would take down Stu and Billy 61 to 39%. Yeah. Uh, they got some love for Stu and Billy, though. That's that's pretty yeah. good for them. I do, I do love them, but I think they would they would they would crack that fucking code. Um let's see. What do you guys think? What what's uh what what horror movie ver- character versus action movie character do you want to see? Jay, you got one that you yeah, want to see? Yeah, I do. I do. Give it to me. Give it to me right fucking Let's do now. this. Let's do uh let's do uh First Blood Rambo, Sylvester Stallone First Blood Rambo oh. versus 2009 Jason. Dude, I fucking I swear to god That's a car, great one. That's today good... I was thinking I thought of that one. I was like that's got to go. That's going to be a good that's one. A good yeah, one. that's cuz they're that's woodsmen. A... They're both Yeah, woodsmen. exactly. Yeah, they're going to use traps and all sorts of shit, MacGyver ass stuff to to survive. It's going to be good times. I want to watch that shit on TV. <laughs> um <laughs> So Eddie, yeah. I don't. Yeah, 2009, uh, Jason. Who you, I've got the poll up. Who do you think? That's a that good though? one, though, man. God damn, that's uh, a good one. Because you gotta go with first blood Rambo. You can't go with like Rambo three, where he's like fuck no. him and he takes on the whole Soviet army. Yeah, he he doesn't have any machine guns. He's no, out in the woods. But, mm-hmm. He's got a knife, maybe a pistol. Mm-hmm. No, not a pistol. No, he's just he, no, not even a pistol. You gotta go with what he had when he took on the town. Okay. Okay. So that's fair, but he did have he he fashioned him some good weapons out there. I mean, he had a gun at a couple points, right? Okay, but here's what. Well, here's what I'm going to go with John Rambo. uh, John Rambo. Rambo. John Jay. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, he's smart. He's gone through Viet fucking Nam. He's got all of it covered. He had Colonel Troutman train him, an elite team of Green Berets. Jason is smart and he's a woodsman as well. But at the same time, he's dumb. Like he's not like he's not had this experience on this level that John Jay. Rambo has had, you know, and oh, and over there, I could drive tanks. I could do my street. Over here, I can hold a top. Fucking cars. Good for the fucking leg. Just shoot uh, side. Shoot side. He was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with you there. I'm gonna take Rambo in this, um, just because, man, like. And this is one of the weird ones. Like, I, I'm foregoing in all of these. It would be very easy. Almost any of these, you could say. So, Rambo versus Michael Myers. Well, Lori beat Michael Myers. Of course, mm. Rambo would win. I'm not doing that game because yeah. those those are there for the movies, right? Like yeah. the 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 final girl wins at the end of the movie because the movie needs them to win. We're talking about real fucking life. You put Michael Myers and Lori Strode in a goddamn kitchen together. He's gonna eat her fucking neck, except right? If it was if, except for Halloween ends. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my point. That, that didn't really I'm happen saying. there, but yeah. I was, I was, in real life, you know what I'm saying? So, like, in a, in a real actual brouhaha. But I still think Rambo wins, dude, because... No matter what. Like, he's just he, such a... He's A, he's way smarter. 
yeah fucking world smart 100 so that's the biggest thing and then yeah. B, he's he's seen a bunch of shit he's seen combat jason he, jason's not gonna know what fucking hit him because jason's never faced anything like that before. well it's not to not to mention the fact that the adaptability of rambo would be off the charts it doesn't matter if it's urban jungle <clears throat> in, in the butt crack of louisiana he'll adapt mm -hmm. to that bitch and fucking do it yeah and i he goes, think that he's been trained to eat Stuff that would make a billy goat vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I do think though that Rambo would get fucked up. I mean, I think that would be I think that would be a battle to the death. I you think know what that would be like really survive, but I would take Rambo. It'd be like Rambo, like the way that Rambo would get fucked up is the same way that Arnold got fucked up against the Predator. He'd come out with battle scars, but he'd win oh, yeah. ultimately. That's a good one. Oh, Predator Predator Arnold's gotta go against somebody tonight, too. Uh, that'll be a really good one. Uh Naggy D Gaming says Michael Myers versus Jack Reacher. Which one? Which Jack Reacher though? Yeah, that's an important question. Um, I don't. I mean, hey, the Raider uh, Lorian says th that John Rambo was the reason I joined the army, dude. I could see that. Yeah, like back I in the yeah, dude, I'd seen Rambo a lot. Well, maybe I don't know. Probably I don't have the the gonads that you have, but yeah, dude, it definitely made me think like maybe I should join it. And then I was like, that's just too much work. So, <laughs> but hey, man, that, I'm yeah, tired. Definitely. But Nagy, I think that uh, I think I, I'd probably go Michael Myers there. I think I think I mean. Jack Reacher's just well. It depends man. on which Jack Reacher. Good, he's yeah, well, it does. But I'm if you're thinking book, I think any of the Jack Reachers really. I would go Michael Myers. I I just would because I mean supernatural Mike Myers, right? If he is supernatural, mm. well, the, yeah, yeah, that's another thing. We have to be okay. So by the way, if you're gonna put in the vote, make sure you're specific on which type. Because you're like, are you talking about the 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 Rob Zombie Myers? Or are you talking about the supernatural Myers? Which might you talking about? But yeah, either way, I think that um, Jack Reacher's is Jack Reacher's dead. Michael Parton says James Bond versus Hannibal Lecter. That's Ooh, interesting. That's a really good one. It feels like he, he's he, it's Hannibal Lecter feels like a fucking Bond villain, and it was he does. Mads Mickelson, right? Who that one? Him yeah, Matt Mickelson. Yeah, I was. Uh, which, I, I, which I mean, Daniel Craig. I'm just gonna go with the most latest one. <clears throat> yeah, Daniel Craig is though. Well, Craig. yeah, <clears throat> yeah, and, and and he's got abs of still. I would also say that James Bond wins this though, and the reason why is James Bond's got a like a fucking network of awesome smart ass people. That are working tirelessly to give him the best gadgets, information, like goddamn pinpoint accuracy of where someone is. Hannibal Lecter's like relying on his intellect, which is fine. I mean, he would be a great James Bond villain, but he doesn't really have any cohorts or henchmen to really set a trap or lead James Bond askew. A, a so I think James also, Bond takes it. In, in a fist fight, I mean, we don't know that Hannibal Lecter has any fighting skills, right? So James Bond probably fucks his shit up. He, I think he beats like a Tyson fight. Lecter probably takes an ear, but I think Bond beats the fuck out of him. Any yeah. of the Bonds, really. And maybe not Roger he, Moore. He, like, he Roger beats him. He, he beats Hannibal Lecter worse than Tina Turner was beat. I mean, Whitney <laughs> Houston, I mean, by Bobby Brown. I forgot it was a Tina Turner. Hit me again, Ike, and put some steak on it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the crowd agrees with us just barely, though. It's a close-ass vote. Rambo, first blood wins 51% to 49%. Hey, I like right that. That's some, that's some good um, shit. That's some good shit. I do want to throw one in here real quick because I just thought of it, and if I don't, I'll forget it. Um, who wins in a fight between um, – oh, man, who – oh, fuck, I already goddamn lost it. Who were we just fucking talking about? We were just talking about – Michael Myers and uh... – uh, James Bond, and there was a lot of other oh, people mentioned. Oh Hannibal Lecter. You need to take some. You need to start oh, taking men's it. health vitamins. I'm sick, Dick. <laughs> no, um, that does not mean anything. Rocky Four Stallone. Rocky mm -hmm. Four. I think we'd argue Rocky Four Stallone was the most powerful Stallone of the Rocky yes, franchise. Yes, he was. Right, absolutely. Uh, full power Rocky Stallone. He trained versus... in the snow and yelled Drago off a mountain. Jason Voorhees in Manhattan. Because we know he's a fucking boxer. We know he's a boxer. He box. But Rocky Four in a boxing ring versus Jason takes Manhattan Jason. I think Jason knocks his fucking head off like he did that other dude. I dude, I think Rocky the Rocky Four Rocky would go pick his own fucking head up and put it back on and be like, that all you got? You ain't so bad. Yeah, but you as soon so as he's bad. like, I hear no bill, and then his head would fly the fuck <laughs> off his fucking shoulders. But I think I think I think I think Stallone Rocky would duck that punch. Well, the thing about that that dude that he down. fought in Manhattan, that black dude, was supposed to be like a like a, a gold go, uh, like a Golden Gloves guy. Like he he like he fought Jason for a while and still got. Golden and Jason was like, "I'm gonna stand here and let you fuck me up or try to," and it was like, "Nah, it's okay." 
Dude, yeah, but he didn't even try to go to the ribs, did he? I think he was all face. Yeah, Stallone would have cracked that fuck those fucking ribs like he did in the meat locker. I think Stallone takes him down. I think Stallone dies five minutes after the fight. I'll I put think it that just, way. I think, but I think Stallone, Stallone dies five seconds. If, 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 <laughs> if Jason, wins, all right, this has been fun and you're cute, but I got to get somewhere now. <laughs> Jason's got to connect, though. Rocky, he learned that defense in Rocky Three from from uh, fucking uh, uh, Creed, right? Uh, from um, Gold... A goose. Uh, Dude, fuck, uh, um, Rocky's fucking defense would Apollo. fold quicker than OJ Simpson's alibi. It would be no. that quick. <laughs> no, remember he he learned how to he had to had a fight like a black boxer in three when 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 Creed Why you gotta bring race him. up into everything, Mike? No, because he took him to the he was like, <laughs> I know, thing. He was I like know. you gotta learn deep I know. Shit, all that yeah. shit. Like Call he Weathers, learned how to yes, defend himself, right? Yeah. So I think I think he had that. I was gonna say you start sound like you start sound like Polly. He's like, <laughs> you can't you can't train him like a black fighter. He ain't black. <laughs> Uh, but he learned the quickness, you know. He learned that he learned. Yeah, but the, not uh, quick enough uh, to out one goddamn uh, Satan's fucking shotgun, which is Jason. I mean, he's fast as shit when he wants to be. I, I'm, I'm telling you, man. There's no. Hey, there you know what? You no know how? You know how Rocky would have a chance Rocky if Rocky, Rocky had if Rocky loaded his gloves up with with water, and every time he punched him, he turned into a little boy for a minute. Because <laughs> remember, that's how you <laughs> defeat him. You just throw water on him. <laughs> Rocky to figure it out, man. He to figure it out. He'd be like, "You ain't so bad." He's like, so bad. I don't know what it is, but put some brisk iced tea on my gloves. <laughs> think, okay, think, think, think of it this way. Think of it this way. Um, who do you think is the? Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of like um, the strongest man in the history. The guy who played the mountain in Game of Thrones. That big yeah, giant. That's big. Right? Yeah, that big. Yeah, that guy. You put um, probably a D level heavyweight fighter in a ring with him. He knocks that dude clean on his fucking ass. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what happens. That's why Logan Paul won't fight a fucking actual boxer. Jake Paul. Um, Jake Paul, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pokemon kids. Um, yeah. Digimon. That was sexual harassment charges from parties. I, my point is. I don't want to get sued. <laughs> they do on YouTube probably. Um, but my point is this. Is that Jason. I don't think Jason would be able to fucking hit Rocky. Rocky. Wear him Dude, down. Wear Rocky's him. a human. He's not the Flash. Yeah, but Jason. Jason has no fucking skill. He's he just, doesn't need to. He, he's a, if he connects once, either he's going to hit, knock I, your head off, or he's going to blow your chest, your fucking heart out of your chest. I don't know if he connects once. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. I don't know if he, he connects doesn't. once. I don't know. I think Rocky dies pretty quick. No, I think the dude... It would be funny if he did that. Da -da -da. <laughs> then it ends. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> so the dude... The dude in Manhattan had a weak fucking chin. He had a weak neck. He had a whole weak head. That's yeah, he did have a Roy off. Jones Jr. type of fucking uh, jaw. Yeah, real Amir Khan jaw. Let's see who you guys agree with, you fucking pieces of shit. They agree with you, Jay. They say 68% of the crowd says Jason Voorhees in Manhattan, uh, Rocky Four. They don't agree. They don't agree with me. They just agree with common sense. <laughs> you no, no, you no way. You, you in this fucking audience right now are basically Adrian at the top of the steps in Rocky Forward. She's like, you can't win. And me and me and Sylvester Sloan are going. And then we're going to go get in our car and we're going to have a fucking montage. So that's just not when you even have you in his car because you couldn't afford it to be in that's the car true. with him. No, he's broke. Hey, he's you know what? Fixed. I've learned from all the great broke. politicians in the world. I bought everybody tonight. I he bought them all. So <laughs> that's alone. He's a bum ride with me <laughs> after Rocky five. Remember? Paulie lost all his fucking Yeah, money. but he got his money back in Rocky. He owns his own restaurant now. Yeah, that's that's. you see his house though? <laughs> he well, he wants to live low key. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, by the way, right. I did. I by the way, this is off topic, but I did know that uh, I didn't read the article. But uh, Mike and I kind of discussed it. We didn't discuss it on camera, but uh, Sylvester Stallone. There was the head. The the title of the article I just read is like he will. He refuses to see Creed three. He won't watch it. No, I read the whole fucking thing, dude. They did him his ass wrong. They did no, they did. But he's like, like he's flat out said he's not gonna watch it. Yeah, he's like he was like I think it, we could have done something great, but uh, I like my heroes to not be so goddamn dark, you know, to, yeah. to have some light because there's enough darkness in the world. Yeah. They fucked him on that so bad. Yeah, they man. did. It's terrible. Uh, Cody, we will go with yours, man. I think this is a good one. I'll put this in the chat next. That's Predator really good. Versus John Wick. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that in bed. He kills some people with a fucking pen. A fucking pen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see, John Wick. Uh, John Wick's the same through any movie, so you really don't have to specify. And we'll just go with the Predator from Predator One. Yeah. Um, 
John Wick or Predator, who wins in a fight? I must say John Wick takes him. I I'm I'm I think I'm gonna go with a little bit of Wick Dick myself. <laughs> Get yeah. that Dick wet Wick. Uh, I think it's going to be John Wick just because he's literally the Baba Yaga. Again, it goes back to the adaptability. The thing about Predator is Predator can be killed by conventional weapons, much like we saw with Arnold doing it to him. Like You, you just got to outsmart him. And Predator wants to level the playing field as much as he can anyway because he knows he could just use goddamn space gun weapons and blow your asshole out of your mouth if he wanted to. But he wants it on that level. So I think John Wick would be literally... The challenge that, like, it's like a fucking lion versus a tiger. And I think that John Wick comes out on top. I think he I does. Think, I think John Wick uh, kills the predator, but also dies. Uh, because, yeah, because the, here's the thing. The reason that that Schwarzenegger was able to beat the predator, and, and not Dutch, Schwarzenegger, because we all know it was actually Arnold Schwarzenegger that happened. Mm. It was the, that was the documentary. Um, but <laughs> the yeah. reason uh, Dutch was able to beat predator is because... It wasn't his weapons. They all had weapons, and they all had grenades and shit. He was able, able to beat him with with survival instincts because he, adaptability. He puts the, yeah, he puts the, he puts the mud on him. He sets the traps, all that shit like that, and toughness and all that. I think John Wick's got enough of that in him. Um, but John Wick's number one asset is guns. So I mean that that's kind of neutralized when it comes to the predator. Well, he also he's also a, a hand to hand combatant. He's expert he in is. that level too, and he could use a fucking pen and kill somebody with it. He is. He, he is. could take that, a, that, a goddamn that, stick. That's why I think I do think that he he I think he wins in the end. Win in the end. I do think he wins in the end, but I think he dies shortly thereafter. I don't know. I yeah, it might be uh, especially if predator does that cheap ass hacker <laughs> shit, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, I lose, I blow everything up with nuclear weapon. <laughs> you know, like, you ever notice that predator is such a, a sore loser? It's like one of those assholes in like Dead by Daylight that disconnects when they're losing. They're like, you you beat me, fine, you don't get yeah. point. I quit in the middle of the game. How about I that? don't care. I don't care. Why are, why are uh, all the critters Russians? But no, that is like, true though. I, I I just think that John Wick has got the adaptability, and, and he's a martial artist. Like he's a Baba Yaga. I think he would literally fuck up Predator after he got used to, like he figured out what what Predator was all about. Yeah, I think uh, so. not a, not, but in the hand to hand, I mean, you know, you got to remember too. Predator is like a massive motherfucker. Like he's got super strength and shit too. I don't I don't disagree though if somebody does pick Predator. That's a really close one. Uh the chat though says John Wick does win 56% to 44%. So John Wick takes down the Predator. Um and I think yeah, we both agree with you guys on that one mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Let me go back here and scoot, scoot, scoot. Boop, scoot, scoot, scoot boogie. boogie. Uh back to Eduardo Santiago who says commando versus the collector. Sup, Mike, Ooh. sup, Jay. Hello, hey. Alva Halloween fam. Um Hello, Eduardo. I think Eduardo. I think that I think that's definitely going to be Commando. What do you think? You well, think we'll put uh, it to the vote. Though. We'll, we'll, I mean, I, I, mean, I mean, well, yeah, but I, do you think that? I think being, Commando wins it, but I'm a Commando guy. On this but show. I'm also I'm I'm an I'm an Arnie fan girl. I'm just going to point that out there. I'll hang on those tits forever. Don't care. I, I, I like I'd vote for him if he ran for president. I swear to God, I would just because he's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like, I what mean, do you, what do you know about his policies? Like, I don't give a fuck. It's literally Conan the Barbarian. Are you shitting me? Dude, I don't yeah, need I to know his policies. So I wish to God Arnold would run for fucking. If they ever they ever God, amended man. the Constitution and Arnold could run, <laughs> I'd vote for him in a I don't care. I don't give a shit. I'd be like, it's goddamn Terminator, dude. Well, he's the, he's a guy with enough balls to be like, hey, you know what? I'm a Republican. Why, why is he rushing all that? He's like, but I'm a Republican. I, I can't do it. Never mind. But he's he's I always. Do I think I think he he was a Republican, right? That's what he when he was. Yeah, in he's, office, he's, like, a, he's a GOP, but but, but he's also. He, I think he's more of a centric. He's like a centrist Republican. Yeah, that's what I like about him is that even now, if he doesn't like somebody who's a candidate, he's not like I, he's not like I'll vote Republican no matter what. He's like I'm gonna pick the. The, the the side that I think is is not a piece of shit. And like most yeah. people don't do that. I respect it for that. Oh, let's not go into that conversation. Though. Milk is for but, babies, beer is for men. <clears throat> yeah, I, I can't stop coming. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> the collector. That's what he would uh, say when he won. Yeah, <laughs> when he won I, the well, election. <laughs> honestly, dude, I think Bennett, I think the guy, the bad guy he took down in, that was a great in, in Commando guy. would have taken down the collector. The collector is a badass and he's scary and he's got all sorts of fucked up tools and tricks. Don't get me wrong. But when you think about what Arnold went through in the in Commando, he had to jump out of a moving fucking plane. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my friend just taking a nap and he dies out of the fucking plane. He has to take on all the mall security and then he has to take on Bennett. He's like, let off some steam, Bennett. <laughs> like I that, think, uh, yeah. Well, you, you're talking about, you're literally talking about, 
commando. You're talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger in like a commanding commando he's role. He's badass. Uh, he's smart. He's adaptable again, much like Rambo. He's got he's he's an explosive weapons expert. He can do no wrong, my sir. And then you've got the collector, which is basically a grown up Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone. Like that's what the collector is. Literally, Macaulay Culkin went psycho and he became like a, a serial killer. Because he sets up traps and shit in there. Actually, that's a crazy idea. Did you guys ever you think, think about that? What if Macaulay Culkin the was saw the guy? There was a there was a huge thing. I'm sorry. Spit that dick out when you're talking uh, to uh, me. Uh, <laughs> there was a huge there no, there was a huge thing uh, a couple years ago that is Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone actually did he grow up to be Tobin Bell from Saul? Because that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Was yeah, that on was 4chan? Crazy. Uh, no, it was on, I think, Screen Rant. <laughs> it's basically the same, <laughs> it's the same difference. I don't care. <laughs> uh, let's see who's winning this one. Uh, Arnold Commando taking it convincingly, 80% to 20%. Commando over the collector. Um, I like I like the way that Gary said this, by the way, um, which I agree with you, Gary. Sometimes we slip a little bit, but uh, I agree with you on this point that you made. He said, what did he uh, say? Hang on. He said uh, a very simple statement. Hang on. Uh, hang on. What? Stop what you cussing. Say? Because you you guys are idiots. <laughs> I don't know. Latrell said stop D playing. I don't know what that means. Uh, but um, what Dick is that? Playing, playing Dick, Dick Harp. Playing stop playing game. with your wiener on stream. Um, what? Oh, I can't fucking find it now. Where'd it go? Hang on. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I agree. With Mike, stop. No he politics. Said, no politics. <laughs> that is, it sounded like Oral the way that. No politics. Well, those are, yo. Yeah. <laughs> get to I the agree. chopper. No politics. Uh, <laughs> no politics. Well, it wasn't really. Uh, yeah, well, it's true. We shouldn't yeah. discuss those things here. We trip. Okay? We trip sometimes. We trip up. Um, he said. Uh, by the way, Brett Nagy said H one shape versus Amazon Prime Jack Jack Reacher or Pamela Voorhees versus Parker Crane from Insidious. Parker Crane was. Which one was, uh, the, is, Crane? was that? The uh, was that the one that the the guy that dressed up in the veil? That's what Parker I want to say. Like the Black Veil Brides guy. Yeah, um, I think I think that's Parker Crane. I don't know. I'm not 100, but, but I ever time I say Crane, I'm thinking of Scarecrow uh, <laughs> from Batman Begins. It depends. I mean, Parker Crane can run run wild on your ass if you're not. Uh, well, they're both horror specialist. people, though. Right, but like if you put them in a ring, like one is literally supernatural. One doesn't exist. Oh no, I thought yeah, yeah. Well, H1 Shape versus Amazon Prime. I mean, H1 Shape wins hands down for me. I thought he, I, I was talking about the Pamela Voorhees versus Parker Crane. They're both horror. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go with that. I think I think Michael Myers takes that easily. I think he just sneaks up behind old Jack Reacher and slits that throat. You know, fist fight. I mean, yeah. maybe maybe if you put him in a ring. But when you talk about Michael Myers, I would like to fight to be in a suburban home, and I think Michael Myers sneaks up on him. Michael Myers has dealt with big body types before. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and then I would also imagine that like H1 OG Michael Myers would be so good at his job, he'd even give Jack Reacher a reach around before he killed mm -hmm. him. Which He's that smooth idea. and and silent. I would like a Jack Reacher reach around. <clears throat> Isaac Salazar says Rocky would wound and actually hurt Jason, which would catch uh, Five Dog off guard. But Jason would still whoop that arse. So, right, fair, fair. I just think that Rocky has an unsurmountable. Maybe that's what they need to do with the franchise. I mean, that's what? where you need to go. Rocky versus Jason. I don't think He's so. taking down everyone else. I yeah, and then the inner the inner child of Jason would come out of nowhere and be like, "Come on, talk about he took my room, he took my mask." <laughs> The way that Adrian comes back and she's yeah. like, "Do it, Rock." No, dude, um, I, I tell you what, I don't like Rocky Five, but I love that fucking uh, soundtrack. Go for yeah. it! My favorite, one of my favorite songs of all time. It really is a great one. I like the interjections of and Rocky Balboa too. When even though Adrian's dead, she comes back in that gray and white when he gets hit, and she's like, ah. <laughs> "You know what I mean?" Mm. Uh, Jack Ryan Boyd says, "Nice fucking model." Uh, <laughs> honk honk. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think of Starship Troopers? Recently rewatched uh, this at the cinema. I had a great time, dude. I love I it. Love that movie. I love that dude. Uh, Casper Van Diem. Like it's so weird because I thought Casper Van Diem would be like a, a mega star because he's got the looks. He's got the looks. Like he had all of the the in, interchangeables to be like a, a really good, like huge, like you know, like I don't know, um, Chris Evans type of dude. And then it just fucking nothing happened. His shit went nowhere. And I'm like, what the fuck? But it was, dude, Starship Troopers is like, like, it's like, it's, it's stupid fun. It's like, it's like the, the political, <clears throat> it's like a political, uh, uh, version. It's like Robocop mixed oh, with, um, sorry. like, I don't know. It's, but it, like, it feels like a Paul Verhoeven movie. Like, it's like a, it's like, it's, it's a political commentary 
but then it's mixed with like silliness to a level of like uh, cl killer clowns from outer space. You know what I mean? So it's got like all of that cool. And Neil Patrick Harris was great in it. Yeah, dude, it's amazing. It's a great movie. Oh shit, dude! I think I have stuff. Look at those here. boogers. That's that I'm booger sorry. sugar. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't say it. I'm kidding. I'm not 100 percent sure if I was right or not, but I, you know that panic when you think, oh my god, there might be there. Um, but no, no. Uh, dude. Yeah, I love fucking Starship. I had that on VHS. Watched that as a kid a ton, which probably explains how fucked up I am. God damn, I love that fucking movie. Uh, but Colton Candler has a great one, dude. This mm -hmm. is a fucking great one. 89 Batman versus Jigsaw. Could Keaton beat the traps? That's a fucking. I would watch the shit out of that fucking movie, man. And and yes, the answer is eighty nine. Batman beats the fuck out of Jigsaw. He gets himself out of anything. Chicks dig the car. Is your mind blown? Are you coming right now? I am. Are you doing one of your mind comes? <laughs> I think it's happening right now. <laughs> I yeah, that would be an amazing, uh, uh, amazing fight. I still yeah, I, I I agree. I think the Keaton Batman pulls it out. I mean, <laughs> it'd be cool if after he beats Jigsaw and like he's standing over him and he's getting ready to take him to the jail and he's like, "Where do you get those wonderful toys?" <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. That would be you know. Well, actually, Jigsaw could be one of Batman's movie. villains. Like in real, if you if you put Jigsaw in a Batman comic book, it works completely, a hundred percent. It dude. would work. God damn. Because he got he goes through the well, first off, if he can out maneuver the Riddler and, and the Joker with all their traps and their intricate plans, well, Joker not so much, but the Riddler for sure. I, he could take Jigsaw hundred percent. Yeah, I totally agree with that, man. I think but that dude, he's I like, What are you gonna, gonna do, Batman? Where do we start? He's like, first, I'm gonna start at the cancer wards. I'll flush him <laughs> off <in> the <laughs> Are you part of the cabal? <laughs> um uh Batman does win that. You weigh a little bit more than 108. <laughs> 84 to 16 percent uh great fucking question though I, even though like we all agree on who would win i just want to see that fucking movie you know? i gotta go um, pee by the way all right go pee you motherfucker well, i'll wait till we go. get to the one hour mark no just, just if you're not gonna do, i gotta pee really bad so just either okay go i'll go, go. All, right. all right i'll be back okay um let me see here this is my dick and this is my hand uh latrell said i had fat fingers what the fuck, Latrell? Why are you on my ass tonight? I'm kidding. I know what you mean. Um, okay, I'm catching up to where you guys were. And let's do... Uh, hey, Jazz, fucking love you too, dude. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. You have an awesome mic on picture. You look like I'd like to party with you. Arturo says, Ghostface versus Brandon James from MTV Screen. Come on. Come on, Arturo. Don't you do my fucking boy Ghostface like that. You know that he beats the living dog shit out of that cheap ass fucking bullshit MTV scream bullshit they try to play. That dude's like a fucking tweeny bopper. Um, but I appreciate it. Thank you. But yeah, we all know Ghostface wins that. Come on, dude. Oh. Oh. You have broadened my sexual prowess with this. I got to put it in the poll. Who wins in a fight? Now, this isn't technically horror versus... Well, I mean, technically, some people do consider Terminator horror, right? Uh, by the way, just put up a Terminator full movie commentary on Patreon to check out our Patreon for that. But who wins in a fight? Arnold from Commando or Arnold from Terminator? Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, my God. Duh. Terminator is a fucking robot. He doesn't feel pain, Sarah. But listen, and I know I said we wouldn't do this, but I mean, to be fair, our humans already taken him out before. And who would win in a fight between Kyle Reese and Commando? I would say Commando. So I'd say you at least got to give Schwarzenegger Commando a chance against Terminator 2, or Terminator, Arnold, Arnold Terminator, Terminator. Oh, God damn it, fucking shit. I can't do that though because I said we wouldn't do that. I said we wouldn't do that because that those those ideals are meant to push the plot forward in the movie, right? Um, you put Laurie Show and Michael Myers in the same room in real life. <laughs> in real life, uh, Michael Myers eats her alive, so we can't really do that. It's not fair. So by that and by that, yeah, I think Terminator does win. I know I don't know though because the Commando is so fucking smart. He's almost like Rambo. Commando versus Rambo would actually be a good, good one, too. He's so fucking smart. He knows how to get himself out of bad situations. But, yeah. Damn, that's tough. 
I think I'm going to go with Terminator, actually. And I love, I fucking love John Matrix. But I think I have to go with Terminator on that one. I just do. That's where my betting money would go if this was real life. My dog just farted, and it's horrid. Um, but goddamn, do I want to root for Commando in that for sure. Jesus Christ! That smells so fucking awful. Uh, while you guys are answering that, Arouse says Chucky versus Steven Seagal, the early years. Come the fuck on, man. Come on! Me versus Chucky. I win. I'd beat fucking Chucky. I'd beat the fuck out of Chucky. Steven Seagal would literally rip Chucky into smithereens. I think today, well, no, Chucky would fucking eat Steven Seagal's fat fucking neck if, if they fought today. His fat fucking Russia-loving neck would be just gone, and he would deserve it too. Honestly, that's kind of probably what he deserves is the Chucky to visit him one night in Vladimir Putin's basement and just eat his fucking fat neck. Um, but yeah, Stacey James says, I had to stay late at work. Now we party. Woo! Welcome, Stacy. Thanks for showing up, my good man. Um, oh, Lordy, oh, me. Let's check on the vote. It looks like it is a close vote, but Arnold from Terminator is taking over uh, 59% to 41%. Uh, I, you know, in a movie, if Commando was the good guy, it would be plausible that he takes down the Terminator. But in real life, I think we're all just being honest with ourselves here. Um, yeah, Terminator definitely wins that. You're right. Well said. Well fucking said. Um, oh my God. Marquise has a great one. That's a great one. Neo versus Pinhead. That's so interesting. There's so many different things you could do with that. I'm going to throw it up right now. Who wins in a fight to the come? I mean, the finish. Um, Neo or Pinhead? Think about their powers, right? Think about what they can do. Yeah, Neo can upload karate and shit into his mainframe instantly. But can Neo upload what's needed to be dealt with to deal with a, a supernatural fucking force like pinhead. I bet that's not in the discs in the fucking matrix. What do you oh. think Jay Neo or pinhead? Oh, yes. I know how to solve the limit configuration. I downloaded it. Pinhead kills that ass. Instant. Yeah. yeah I totally agree with you on that. It's, it's the votes up right now. I'm going to be right back. You guys, uh, I'm caught up on super chat so you can just play with your wiener in front of everyone. Let's do it. Let's play Throw with your wieners. Let's all play with our wieners together, okay? Well, here's the thing. Neo is obviously powerful, but here's the Pinhead is because Neo's only powerful. Well, no, I can't I can't say that because in the Matrix revolution, he's able to affect the real world with his power. I don't know, but I I, I just don't think he's a match for, for Pinhead. Pinhead literally is a supernatural entity from another like a realm. Like he can uh, yeah, I'm not. I think it's been hit all day, all day, sir. All day. The village wanker says, You better have washed your hands. I did. I washed it in pee. Hey, Vinny, nice to see you, sir. By the way, Vinny, I know that you got the Ghostbuster Spirit Unleashed game because you're a ghost, bas ghost bastard fanatic, as I am. <laughs> I'm a ghost bastard myself. So we both uh, recognize one another. Uh, Jonathan Nichols, that's a good one. Um, ooh, that is a good one. Uh, I will definitely tell Mike that one. Uh, I won't say it. I'll remember it, though. And I'll put that in the next one. Colton Candler, that's a good one, too. Stop! There's so many good ones. Stop. So we're just going to do this one right now. When we come back, we'll tabulate the other matches, and we'll we'll get to you. But what do you guys... I mean, if you, if you think about Pinhead, though, he's a supernatural entity, as I've said. And he he does a lot of work with chains and BDSM, and he doesn't mind at all that you scream because he likes it. But Neo is also the chosen one. He's beginning to believe, uh, and he's very he's got telekinetic powers, and he can like jump into people's bodies. But again, it's only in the Matrix where his powers are truly revealed. But you have to also look through the fact that. He does have an ability to affect the real world in some way or another. I, but I still think that Pinhead just transcends all of that. I don't know. God, you guys. Hey, Action. You guys are, are killing it with these verses. You guys have some great fucking ideas. Holy shits. Holy shits. 
Did you see tabulate? <laughs> Not tabulate. You know what I mean. I just wanted to say a fancy word. Uh, that's a good one, too. Brett Nagy. Is that Eddie Mora from... Uh... Okay, Brett, I uh, appreciate you, man, but isn't... I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure, but isn't Limitless? Is that um isn't that a another isn't that an action movie? Could be wrong. I don't know. It could be 100 percent wrong, but uh the village wanker says village wanker wait jay do you do you do any twitch stuff didn't realize you were a gamer my old ass just not got into twitch my old ass just not got into twitch myself uh you know what that's um, something that mike and i've been discussing it's very likely or it's hopeful that in the near future that yes uh, i will be doing something with twitch hopefully if i can get everything working correctly to do some games online it'll be fun we're all gonna suck together when we play video games together and that's that's always a plus but yeah uh i'm not i'm a gamer but i'm not i've not gone and, and broadcasted anything yet but maybe soon maybe soon Ooh, danny grant's got a good one too you guys are fucking killing it thank you guys i love it like literally there are so many matchups here i don't think that we realized how many awesome combinations we can have it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Joe uh, Pinaccia says, Ultra Thin Condom versus Punk Zombie Girl from Return of the Living Dead. I think the condom's going to win hand out. Hands down. Hands out. Hands out for the condoms. Hands down for the win is what we should say together. Because that girl, fuck no. Without a condom, get out of my face. There's no way. Hey, Chris, how you doing? But yeah. I don't know what the poll results are because I can't see it on my end, but I would imagine I'm, I'm I'm really interested about the pinhead versus Neo thing because that was a really solid, solid matchup. But we will see. But we will see. Ooh, that's a good one too, Mark. Robin's also got a good one. D goes, God damn you, Michael. Yes, of course, God damn you, Michael, every day. I get it. James Smith says, Jay. Hi, Jay. <laughs> but you spell it with a G-H. I'm not high yet <laughs> on life. I, I have to work my way up. I'm enjoying adult beverages at the moment, but I'm not high. Action says, how about the good old Mike versus Jay? It depends on if... Um, KY Jelly is involved, and if there's a mud pit nearby, because, uh, you know, situational, I would imagine. Um, Resident, by the way, did you guys, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, because I haven't, I haven't actually watched it, and I don't know if I'm going to, because I heard it was hot garbage juice. The Is the Resident Evil uh, TV show on Netflix pure, uh, like, shit? Is it fucking really bad? Or is it decent? Like, you know, because I don't mind if they went their own way a little bit, but it, it kind of stuck to the central core of what Resident Evil was supposed to be about, or does it just go off the 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 rails? Vinny says, don't watch. <laughs> Vinny's like uh, Virgil from uh, the uh, the guy that like takes uh, Dante down through hell. Don't watch it. Don't look at it. Scary Taylor says, emoji, gross. Very, very bad. D Lance says, here's a nice piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I was <clears throat> I was afraid of that. Oh. We love you too much to subject you to that shit. Okay. It's awful. I refuse to watch it. Yeah, your name is Resident Dr. Evil. If you're saying no, I know it's fucked. <laughs> your name is Resident Dr. Evil. Man, that sucks, man. I like it's so weird with Resident Evil. Like, how can you not get that movie correct? Like, I mean, I, I don't get it. I don't understand how it's so hard to connect like it's it's got an amazing story like already like the game itself has got a great story it's got great characters <clears throat> it's got intrigue it's got uh mystery it's got horror it's got all these cool things and they does yet it have big continue, winners 
to put a dildo in your mouth and say <laughs> suck it when I tell you to. No, I, we were talking. I was asking if the Resident Evil Netflix show is as bad as everybody's saying, and universally everybody says it sucks big, big bowls. Yeah, I didn't even take time to watch that fucking piece of shit, man. That well, so we heard it wasn't even about Resident Evil. Like, who cares? Well, no, I I know. Well, yeah, I don't know because I know I, I read <laughs> something about it, and then I'm like, yeah, that doesn't sound good. But I thought that they went off a little bit. But they, if they kept the core of the of the, the of the game in there, it would have been good. But apparently, it just sucks. So that's terrible. <laughs> so there's some, I, I didn't uh, I, I didn't get the well. I did say the super chats, but uh, they've got new ones. And then there was another one. Hold on one second. Um, uh, it wasn't what a super was chat, but super chat you got, so I can catch. Some, I didn't do any of, because they were all verses. I couldn't okay. do them. All right, I'll go. I'll um, hold on. Um, there was one up here though. That I was like, yeah, that's a good one. Um, it was, um, I, 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 okay, I might be wrong, but I, because I, I don't remember the name of who asked for it, but I, I and, uh, but it was, um, I think it was Pumpkinhead versus Wolverine. Oh, that's a, that's fucking insane. That's fun. All right, I'll throw that one in there, and then we'll, we'll jump on the super chats. Pumpkinhead versus Wolverine is, by the way, the no, last no, 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 that's not it. Okay, it's it's Jonathan Nichols. It was Pumpkinhead versus Conan the Barbarian. Okay, okay, I'll throw that one in there. Uh, Pinhead, by the way, beats Neo fifty nine to forty one percent. I agree with that. I That's a good one. Yep. That, that, makes that, sense. that was a good one. That makes um, sense. So next we got Pumpkinhead versus Conan the Barbarian. Conan, and not Conan O'Brien, the Late Show. <laughs> in the uh, year two thousand. Uh, we'll make it up to you. By the way, I, I missed that guy, man. Conan 2000. O'Brien should have been the one. Jim, fuck Jimmy uh, Fallon. It should have been Conan O'Brien. I do love Co Conan uh, a bunch. Um, Pumpkinhead versus Conan. I'm gonna go with a little bit of Conan. Conan will fuck Pumpkinhead up, dude. No, 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 no. Now just hear me out here, okay? Because I think that I would. I, I love Pumpkinhead to death. I love that squishy-headed <laughs> monster. I do. But the thing about Conan is he's powerful. He's got a badass sword. He, sword. he he chopped off James Earl Jones's head, and he became a snake. James Earl Jones did, and he chopped that fucking head off. And you know, you know, drive your enemies before you. <laughs> What's the, best in life, Conan? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hear the laminations of the women. Uh, <laughs> See the, the thing about it is, you. would Conan the Barbarian be smart enough to realize that the only way to beat Pumpkin is you got to you got to kill the guy? That's like soul connected to him. Because yeah, only that pumpkin had exist, you know, he's like, and then <laughs> would Conan and the Barbie be like, I don't know, is Lance Henriksen over there? Should I kill him? I mean, I don't know if Conan would be have the smarts enough. So it's funny because uh, Arnold's gone up against Lance Henriksen before in Terminator. Uh, yeah, but that's I think, I, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Conan. I am gonna go with Conan yeah. though because I, I think, think if, I think if Conan came in contact with Pumpkinhead, he'd fuck Pumpkinhead up like he fucked that like witch like swamp thing in one of the in, i don't know if it's conan the destroyer or conan the barbarian like it was a monster and he like chop, i think he chopped its arms off and then his legs and then like pee in its face and then chop its head off and then yeah. take it home and eat it i don't think conan would even bat an eye he's used to fighting creatures like pumpkin head right mm -hmm. like he's used to that he's like he would just pray to fucking crom and crom would be like here's what you do crom <laughs> crom would crom. show him a thing or two crom. Now i show you trick or two uh yeah I, i'm gonna go conan on that see what you guys said about it we're going a little faster uh here conan but barely conan conan wins 52 percent to 48 percent Ooh, um, that's a good one conan. too conan does take the cake there um michael parton says ash williams versus the man with no name who's the man with no name um are you talking about? Are you talking about like the good, the bad, and the ugly? Because that's the only the man with no name is Clint Eastwood from like the the, the good, bad, and the ugly. Fistful of dollars and a few dollars more. I do think Ash takes him down. If Ash can take down, the wait a minute. Unless he's, he's talking about Dark Tower, are you talking about the Dark Tower? The man with no. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I'm sorry, I, we failed you. We failed you on that one, Michael. <laughs> uh, Brett Nagy said Arnold from T2 versus Eddie Mora. Yeah, I did read. I, but I think Eddie Mora is from Limitless is a action guy. Uh, yeah, so it's action versus action, but I think yeah, well, pretty super chat, man. I that's just it's just action, it's action yeah. on action. Is that Bradley Cooper's limit? Uh, I think so. Bradley Cooper, if he, if he had enough drugs, then he could put up a good fight. But I do think Terminator takes the yeah. game. Uh, Danny, uh, oh man, I would love to see that fucking movie, dude. Holy shit, 
Uh, let's throw this one in there because that, there's some interesting things to do there. Robocop versus the thing. Um, mm. I don't know. Dead or possessed, you're coming with me. I think that ultimately <laughs> the thing overtakes him. I mean, it, it, it literally is. Um, it's a fucking alien species that's able to not only mimic and take over bodies, but it's able to move around freely with RoboCop wouldn't even be able to, I mean, he does have cybernetic, you know, uh, implants where he can like look at someone and see, but I don't know if it's like advanced enough to know if someone's being copied or not. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. He could like, he could get, he could become a uh, Lewis. He could become Lewis and get close to him and pull his fucking circuit breakers or whatever. And that'd be it. Yeah, I'm going to go with the thing, too, because I don't think RoboCop is equipped to deal with something like that. The thing about the thing is that nobody knows what it is and nobody mm -hmm. knows how it works. It's a it's a complete um, unknowable thing. And I, I definitely don't think RoboCop RoboCop does what he's programmed to do. I don't think RoboCop would be able to sort through that because it's not a part of this world. So I think no. the thing definitely wins that fucking fight for yeah. sure. Eventually, because he kills one of them and it transposes to something else. Yeah, it's the thing. Yeah, I know. Well, there's always also the possibility of. Uh, well, I mean, because the thing is, is uh, he's also made of. Uh, Robocop's still got like human elements to him. So what if the thing attacked those, the, like the the fleshy parts of him? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, like his fucking face. What if he shot yeah. me in the lips? <laughs> but to be fair, though, since he is, uh, since since RoboCop is part Robo, <laughs> since he is part robotics, could the thing actually take him over? Or I'm not saying it could take that? him over, but it could scramble his fucking circuits for a while. Yeah, I wonder if, if the thing could even get it. That 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 could be a caveat to that whole thing. But I'm still going to take the thing. They made sure. this to honor him. <laughs> Your husband is dead. <coughs> the audience agrees with us, by the way. They say the thing 59% to 41% over mm -hmm. Roto Cop. Uh, I got one. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this super chat and I'm gonna mix it with something that I think would be a really fun one. Uh your hungry your angry uncle Matt. I don't want to see you at Thanksgiving. We're trying to oh, have a good shit. one. All right, Matt. How dare you ask me to sit on your lap? We don't want to drink three whiskeys and <laughs> I felt something it. hard. <laughs> <laughs> And hello, Roxy, by the way. Thanks for popping in. We love you so much. You're fucking hello. awesome. Um, but my mine is uh, for this one, if because we're going to throw Xenomorph in there. I would love to see this fucking movie, and we'll never see it, but God, it would be so cool. Um, who would Dolly win the Parton. fight? <laughs> um, uh, alien? Uh, so Xenomorph, basically. Versus John McClane. From Die Hard, John McClane thrown into one of those fucking spaces. Die Hard One, which I mean, which Die, die Hard, Hard, Die Hard One or Die Hard Three. Well, it doesn't really matter. He's the he's same. The same. Yeah, yeah, he's the same. Um, I think that would be an amazing fucking. Movie. I think I I think John McClane fucks that shit up. I do too. Yeah, I mean, I listen, too. he can go through the Nakatomi Towers with no shoes on, walking over broken glass, and be like, "Welcome to the party, pal," and keep his fucking cool about all what's going on even though now he's facing a goddamn intergalactic alien i still think he keeps his cool and yeah. you know he yippee ki -yay, motherfucker and he sticks like some c4 in that bitch's face and kicks him off a of fucking roof smoking cigarettes and watching captain kangaroo on the spacecraft he's like i'm, I'm supposed to be on vacation what are you doing here alien? Hey, hey, you know my uh, wife was the last person that saw me with my shirt off i'm on it yeah so is she oh god dude you know what i'm gonna do tonight I'm watch so die hard right now i'm gonna watch die hard three tonight Die Hard 3, oh, dude, yeah. I'm telling you what, Die Hard with the Vengeance is the best Die Hard movie of all time. I don't it's, give a shit. I'm Die Hard 1, amazing. You can't get better than Die Hard 1, but Die Hard with the Vengeance, bringing in Sam Jackson as the as the uh, sidekick. Woo-wee, get out of here. I do. I, I always, for the, my one of my favorite scenes, he was like, when he was like, well, to make it goes, damn, that guy was pissed when they take that guy's car. And he's like, yeah, well, he'll be happy when he looks in the back seat. And then Sam Jackson's like, fuck, that was my gold bar. <laughs> Remember, because he took that gold bar, he's like, "Put that shit down." He's like, "They gonna let you keep." It. He's like, "Yeah, well, we'll see." Did you guys <laughs> catch last week's lottery numbers? <laughs> like he was, fuck, yeah, dude, he, he he totally went out in that. But yeah, dude, tell me that wouldn't be an awesome movie. Like they could actually like yeah. if they put that out like twenty years ago, probably. But like if they said. uh one studio has the rights to both of these and they announced die hard in space. And it's, it's John McClane versus aliens. I mean, would you not be fucking pumped? Like, Dude, that's I, believable. I, I think, I think John McClane versus alien would be an, like, I don't, don't get me wrong. I don't want to get rid of Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver is like a badass. Ripley is like in her own uh, league, but at the same time, John McClane mixed in there. God damn. Give me mm. tickets for it. Yes, sir. 
okay, I'll go on Fandango and order it three weeks out. Dude, I think if I could go back in time, that may be what I spent all my time on. Just making that movie. Go ahead and say it. You would have called me the N-word, weren't you? Uh, no, I wasn't. Asshole. I was going to Asshole. Fuck. <laughs> because you got some problem with me because I'm white Zeus? Did I, did I, got, I offend your people, Zeus? I got a headache. I got a real bad fucking headache. Oh, goes, shit, hey, man. Hey, yes, John McClane. You got any Tylenol? <laughs> I've had a headache all goddamn day long. You're lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he really did have he really did have uh, fucking Asper. Brett Nagy says part three Jason versus Iron Man. I think that I think superheroes That's is just a whole easy. other thing. That's easy like, though, bro. It's gotta be Iron Man. He fuck his Well, I mean, he doesn't even have to like land. He could just stand up in the fucking stratosphere yeah. and like launch <laughs> rockets at that motherfucker and blow him up worse than Jason goes to hell. Yeah, but like, Iron Man would be like it'd be over. You know, like did that one scene in Iron Man uh, one when he just like launches a little rocket at the tank and it explodes and he walks away badass? That's all you'd have to do. Yeah, yeah, I think Iron Man three maybe he doesn't, he didn't have a Jason suit. Would be like, be him argument. don't come down to ground. Him don't. Come down. <laughs> he keeps Jason, flying around. He would, just, he would just stand there and shake his fucking machete at the he sky. He would try to throw his axe, and then <laughs> and then fucking Iron Man would be like, Whoop. he'd be like a gazelle. Uh, Jeffrey says, "I take no Steven Seagal slander. That's my baby boo. He's in Putin's pocket, Jeffrey. He's a piece Steve, of shit now. Steve sadly, no." Steven Scott, one of the men that tells you that that knife you see on his countertop when you come over and visit him, he says, I got that from the Emperor of China in 1981. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, but sir, it's just a ginseng knife. No, no, no. The Emperor of China gave it to me. He's just throws your blood belt. <laughs> he did. He's uh, like, he literally, the, 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 by the way, well, I love, uh, we both love our early Steven Seagal movies. Just like out for justice and mark for death man. but he's a fucking liar dude like in real yeah. life he's a liar as shit yeah he's a giant piece of shit now unfortunately uh but the vote goes to john mcclain handily 61 percent would take down an alien xenomorph 61 percent 39 percent. but damn guys fuck how badass would that movie have been holy yeah, that would be shit, amazing 80s. but again i, uh, I don't want to i don't want to say that you know because it does take away from sigourney weaver sigourney weaver is badass too she's like a john mcclain but the female version yeah, she really is. I mean, she's basically the female John McClane. Uh, Isaac Salazar, God, you're you have a sexy name. Says mm -hmm. y'all should check out the movie The Raid. Both one and two are equally great. The main guy in it is like Jackie Chan, and Donnie Yen took adrenaline and knew even more martial arts. I, we've seen it, man. <laughs> They're fucking amazing movies. Yeah, I think like, that was one of our earliest one of our earliest reviews we ever did was The Raid Two. Uh, yeah, and it was in it was we had the it was subtitled. Um, but we want it was fucking awesome. The action sequences in that is incredibly good. Yeah, dude, that those movies are dope as hell. Thank you, Isaac. Appreciate yeah. that, man. Stephanie's got a good one here. Uh, I I kind of want to see what the chat thinks about this too. Uh, I'll throw this one up in the poll, man. Like, this is funny as fuck. Who wins, um, Three Ninjas or the Puppet Master puppets? Light up the eyes, boys. Light up the eyes. <laughs> 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 i'm telling you man i'm telling you like i think that like the fan film people are getting it wrong they need to do shit like this like that would be fun dude i actually shit. watch the shit out of that yeah yeah you're never gonna get that anywhere but fan films but uh i, I i'll say this dude i think that the puppet masters I, I have to believe in the power of the kids that they'll take them down eventually but i'm saying only i say only rocky lives I think everybody else dies. <laughs> Rocky's the last one. The, the no, man. It, it, no, it's going to be Tum Tum because he's going to be standing in the fucking closet eating jelly beans while his brother gets slaughtered. <laughs> and then he's going to come what out and shoot those little in? bastards. Oh, no. I never stayed. I hope you end. saved us some pizza. <laughs> no, I, I I don't know. I'll give it to Three Ninjas. Plus, I, mean, they're more, I mean, look, I like Puppet Master. Don't get me wrong. I love, I love Blade. I love Torch. I love all those guys. But at the same time, they're goddamn puppets. They're fucking puppets, bro. Yeah, and think about who the puppet masters usually go up against. They usually go up against a bunch of skeezy pieces of shit. Like those kids are pure. Yeah, those these kids, kids know karate. Yeah. All three of those kids look like they're like prominent members of of Jesus Christ at the Latter Day Saints in Utah. <laughs> those kids been through. Some <laughs> shit. Those guys pass out the collection plates at the Latter Day Saints meetings. <laughs> <laughs> they do look uh, like that though a little bit oh the vote is close but they do disagree with us they say the puppet master puppets win 51 percent to 49 percent. it just changed i call for a there, recount it's a, it's a close one though recount it's, <laughs> it's a fucking close one dude uh take it or leave it says if these two know all about each other who dominates the other in a verbal fight gunnery sergeant hartman lee arlie Ooh, ermy from full metal jacket metal jacket versus terrence flesh or jk simmons in whiplash <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna go with Arlie Ermery for me. Uh, what the fuck is that? 
Mm-hmm. What the fuck is that? The jelly donut? It's, yeah. it, dude, Ar- Arlie Emery or Armory or whatever, how you ever say his last name? Army, Army. I think. was awesome. Dude, that guy was a great fucking character actor. Dude, that guy. And, and you know, not to mention the fact that he literally was a drill sergeant. That was his, mm-hmm. that's what he did. And mm-hmm. those insults popped off his head like he was talking to his ex-wife or something. That guy wins hands down no matter what versus anybody in a verbal match. Yeah, I think I think J.K. Simmons' character in Whiplash was kind of a fucking bully. He just likes to get in students' faces, but like, play it again. You know, uh, yeah. uh, I want pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> I think that uh, I'm with you. I think Ermy. Trust my barber. Sure. <laughs> I, you know, well, here's the thing about J.K. Simmons. By the way, J.K. Simmons is a really good. Uh, he's a great actor, by the way, and he's funny. But the thing about J.K. Simmons too is the fact that J.K. J.K. Simmons always comes across as passive aggressive, um, like insult. R. Yeah. Lee would just like fucking give it to your face. Like, That's here's true. my I dick. Think, I'm gonna slap you with it. I kind of think he he would make uh, J.K. Simmons from Whiplash piss his pants. Mm-hmm. I mean, by the end of it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, those army dudes don't fuck around. Uh, Horse I find beyond. Thank you, man. It says Iron Man versus Animorph from the original Alien. I think we're gonna stay away from superheroes versus them as far as the chat goes. But well, we, well yeah, say, we yeah we already answered that one though. Yeah, I think Iron Man would take him down. Um, well, you don't have to. In, he doesn't have to leave the ground. Powers. I mean, I know it was another. It was Iron Man versus Jason, but. It's the same thing. Iron Man literally can just stay up in fucking the stratosphere and launch goddamn nukes at it. Yeah, I would definitely take Iron Man that as well. Uh, Dan McCartney, thanks, man. Says Ben Tramer versus Corey Cunningham. Not really what we're going for here. Action versus horror. I mean, I get what they're both. Uh, but yeah, I think Corey would fuck up Ben Tramer, dude. Ben Tramer didn't even do nothing. He he couldn't even cross the street without getting hit by a fucking car. Uh, I think Corey <laughs> fuck up. Ben. That's true. But ben, it depends. It you know if Ben Tramer was drunk enough. I mean, he would take down Corey. Yeah, well, Corey got Tramer, Corey got thrown over a fucking rail by some band bullies. So Ben, ben Tramer, Tramer probably say like, if Ben Tramer come up with a Budweiser, be like, "You gay?" And then kick him <laughs> off the fucking rail. Ben better pray to Crom, <laughs> or else he's getting fucked up by Corey. Uh, Corey's got a shitty mom. He's been through a lot. Michael Parton says Ash Williams. Oh, we already read that. What am I doing? What am I doing, Michael? I'm going back in time, you sluts. Vinny says Jason Voorhees versus Casey Jones. Ooh. Hey, hey, let's go in the old mixer here see what you guys have to teenage say teenage mutant ninja power teenage mutant ninja hey you know what's weird dude on the half shell on the hey, corners of, i don't dude. remember the song i'm gonna tell you something uh I, I i was on twitter the other day uh probably one of the last times since it's about to die because it's being ran by a piece of shit it's gonna be fine business. mike don't worry about it um, let your politics stay out of it he's gonna make it good <laughs> you piece of shit fuck everybody quit how's it gonna be good um but no well, um, i have better people um Jason Voorhees versus Casey Jones. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. No, I was on Twitter the other day, right? Mm-hmm. And I see it's, it pops up like who to follow on the side. And Vinny fucking Sharemonte, the scream queen himself, pops up. And I said, fuck, I don't follow Vinny. Let me follow him. And you know what I noticed when I followed him, Jay? I clicked that on his sexy. fucking name. You, you know what I saw? What? That motherfucker didn't follow us. I followed right. him. He didn't even follow us on fucking Twitter, I've been, Vinny. Listen, I've been, fo- I've been following Vinny in real life for like six months, and I don't think he's noticed <laughs> me one time. I was uh, I've been collecting all sorts of like, you know, his habits and, and where he goes in the morning and <laughs> how long he takes in the shower. Not like weird, but just like for future information. But that's a great uh, that's a great versus, though. Um, I, do, I do think Jason I think, it, I think Jason kills out. it, though. Yeah. Like, listen, yeah. Casey Jones... I like Casey Jones a lot, but nah, bro. A Jose Canseco bat. Tell me, <laughs> you didn't pay money for this. Damn. <laughs> cricket. You got to know what gotta... crump it is before you can play cricket. Ooh, um, I'll teach you. Yeah, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. The shoe don't fit. I tried to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three the other day with Ellie. I got bored as fuck. Like twenty. Well, you know, I really felt, but I felt I like that movie. But I, but I like it because I saw it in the theater when it came out. But the thing about that movie is, like, you could tell that there was a huge slice in budget because those suits look like shit compared to the second one. And then uh, you got Casey Jones coming back, but he was just a babysitter. I just, I just, like. I just, I just wiped my nose, and I swear to God, I thought I had a huge booger on my hand, and I got really scared for a second, but I didn't. But dude, what's, okay. funny, what's funny is that if you watch it again, though, when Michael Michelangelo, when uh, when April uh, trades body with that dude from uh, ancient Japan, and, and he's like, "She's a man." <laughs> <laughs> that was so I funny. That was, I think, I think it's, but it's like the lines are funny because they're so corny. 
The, the, but the plot's so fucking stupid. She bought a fucking lamp at a goddamn yard sale, and it just happens to be the lamp that transfers to you to Well, time, I mean, I know, but it's to be gifted to Splinter. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah, it's bullshit, though. Fuck that movie, dude. Um, Jason Voorhees wins handily 80 to 20%, as it is, though. I think he would fuck him up, man. But that is a fun question to talk about. There's no doubt yeah. about it. Um, no doubt in the high streets of the Nazarene. Um, I don't know what that means. Ooh, you'll like this one, Jay. I know we say we're going to say about superheroes, but this one kind of counts. I'd, uh, I'll i put it in there, but... Spawn versus... I'll Internet. allow it. Let us see. Let us see what the people have to say. I think that, uh, well, uh, Spawn versus Pinhead, um, in my opinion, easy, hands down, Spawn wins. Uh, and the reason for this is very ooh. simple. Spawn literally beat Malvolja. Well, he beat Malbolgia. He killed the fucking devil. Uh, if you read the comic books, he became like, you know, the, the fucking ultimate demon lord guy. I mean, it, like, Pinhead serves Leviathan, which is pretty much what Malbolgia is. And Spawn took down Malbolgia. Spawn Malbolgia? would fuck up Pinhead. Yeah, a big old. He took, he took those balls and said, nope, not in my Malbolgia. mouth. Malbolgia. Not in my, my mouth. In I won't mouth. have it. Spawn says, He's I'll nuts. spit those out and make you suck my dick. <laughs> and that's what Spawn did. And Spawn also uh, went to heaven. And, uh, like, dude, Spawn, Spawn would my balls, yeah. Spawn would literally throw <laughs> KY jelly at Pinhead's face and be like, suck it. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know as much about Spawn as you do. Um, yeah, dude, Spawn, Spawn wins that hands down. Not to mention I, the fact that he's a badass even in human form. Al Simmons I, was a crane killer. Yeah, like you like initial response, honestly, is like pinhead, but like then I think about it and like dude, spawn be good with them chains too. You know, it's not just the chains. I mean, he's a he has access to every and he's no, not I'm bound. Just, I'm just saying the way that my brain goes. That's that's how I'm like processing it, like the, the chains thing, and then like, but but spawn's dealt with fucking hell before. He he like, you were you were born in the I wasn't really molded by it or whatever the fuck. Like that's spawn yeah. versus pinhead. So I would take spawn as well. Uh let's yeah, see dude, spawn said. spawn like you got a box, bitch. I'm gonna make that your vagina. <laughs> that's your box now like no yeah spawn kills it man spawn kills it in a box uh spawn does win 68 percent to 32 percent uh so the crowd is in agreement with us uh they call me stamp says ben affleck's batman versus the creeper i'm gonna like that one up that's a good one <laughs> yeah ben uh, the creeper's gonna smell uh ben affleck's crotch be like i want it i want that wiener <laughs> uh yeah, Ben Affleck's Batman versus the Creeper. That's a uh, yeah. I, I'm assuming you mean the uh, the original Jeepers Creepers one. Um, yeah, not those, not three or four. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, well, I mean, I guess. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, doesn't it come down to the fact that Ben Affleck's Batman's got like a, a, a devil may care attitude too? He doesn't give a shit either. Well, if he can it handle his fucking wine addiction, you know, and his womanizing. No, that's how he does it. He gets drunk and he fucks people up. He brands them. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, kinda, yeah, Alfred's all fucking judgmental. He's like, mm -hmm. I drank six balls of wine tonight and still fucked up the creeper, Alfred. What now? And I had sex with a supermodel. Um, I think that Batflick does win. Well, Batflick, uh, yeah, and he's also intelligent as fuck. He'd figure out a way. He's like, I'm going to stick this, uh, this goddamn cylinder of acid in his fucking mouth that'll continuously melt him every time he tries to get out of the grave. So he'll never be able to cut. Like, he's too smart. I know that we said, and I stick by that. Like, what we said was, like, no superheroes. But when you say Batman's a little bit different because Batman's technically not a superhero. I know Iron Man's not either, so I, I'm talking out of both sides of my ass cunt here but it's stinky. It, i just i want to throw it up because it was very interesting but yeah um here's the thing about batman batman before he even stepped into the goddamn ring with the creeper would have uh would have fucking researched him he would have gone to the bat cave he would have had all the google articles pulled yes. up he would have had all everything the yahoo stuff <laughs> the myspace the reddit uh, posters, stuff, everything. Fucking everything yeah he would have had him figured out like he would have had a whole goddamn file His, he would have the creepers linkedin everything yeah <laughs> you have a profile this the on the creeper, dude. Yeah. And Batman would fuck Creeper's world up. So I think it's definitely Batman. Well, let's not forget, by the way, that the Batfleck took down Superman. I mean, and, and Superman would literally like he would literally eat the creeper and then shit like, him out in the space. Do you bleed? So, well, yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's like, he's like, chew will. Chew will sounds like Julie's gum. <laughs> He's 37 dick trying to suck any dick on the way to the park. Uh Batfleck wins in the chat 63% to 38%. All right, no more superheroes versus them. I know yeah, we gotta be careful, guys. That. We can't do that. That's too easy. We gotta stick to it. I'm gonna stick to my guns now. I'm gonna stick to my big wiener guns. This mm. one from Colton. Colton with another banger. 
All right. This is a fucking good question, dude. I Rip know them. from Yellowstone versus Old Baghead Jason. And I love that you called him Old Baghead Jason because that's what we call him. Around well, I like it because uh, Old Baghead Jason, if, if we remember Freddy, uh, Freddy 2, Jason 2, uh, Friday, uh, Friday 13th Part 2, Old Baghead Jason hadn't been established yet as a supernatural killer, so we didn't know. He was just a fucking okay. redneck dude walking in a plaid shirt and be like, who's on my goddamn property? I'm going to fucking kill him. I don't give a shit. I know I'm wearing a Ku Klux Klan hood, but fuck it. I ain't racist. I'm just wearing this hood because I had nothing clean. The laundry. Riff's, let's be honest. Riff's probably a little racist. No, probably he's not. Racist. I don't think he, he is. He, he's probably. No, racist. just because he listens to fucking uh, Travis McIntyre doesn't mean he's fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Tripp, maybe. That's uh, what I said. Uh, uh, that's what I said. Montgomery. Well, yeah, is uh, there not Montgomery. a guy named Travis McIntyre? It just sounds like a fucking... A no, Travis but McIntyre does that sounds not... like a boy band. If I ever went to country music, I'd change my name to Travis McIntyre. <laughs> does that not sound like a cool one? It fits. It does fit. And it's like, hey, where are you from? It's like, I'm from Louisiana. My name's you're Travis thinking of my McIntyre. Sister's, you're thinking of my sister's ex-husband, Travis, Travis yeah, McIntyre. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever the fuck. Uh, you should have said got that. Got in a fight loud, with a cop oh because God he, he, he flicked off a cop at the goddamn uh, tractor pool. <laughs> got in a fight with a uh, cop. I don't think Rip's racist. I think I, I think Rip just don't like black people. <laughs> no, I, I well, don't no, know. There's some people that work on Yellowstone. No, I know. I don't think he's people. racist. I, I just think he's a hard fucking dude or whatever. From he Wyoming looks like he's a little bit racist, but yeah, yeah, maybe. Well, just because he looks like it doesn't mean that he is. I, would you be surprised though if he was a little racist? Well, no. If I if I went out, if I went to B Dubs with him and he was like, "Hey, you seen them? Uh, you seen them Mexicans?" I'm like, yeah. And <laughs> then he said some like racist di uh, diatribe. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. It fits the profile. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the entire Dutton family was just a little bit racist. I'm just well, saying. who knows? I'm but saying, old like, back at Jason the box by its cover. I don't know, but I don't know. But old back at Jason though, um, we're talking about non super because I, I, I will put old back at Jason non supernatural. Mm -hmm. non-supernatural because mm -hmm. we didn't know yet that being said i do think jason fucks him up in the end yeah but he probably he saves uh well, he, what's her he fucking can't name? stop him I don't know. what's her name uh god i hate her character if she's uh, a black girl you know she's not getting saved <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna take him to the train station yeah he, uh, he's not gonna hey take what's it. her name in uh yellowstone the one we hate beth, beth yeah beth beth would probably fuck it up for him rip would probably oh, dude, have uh, it, he'd probably have rip, back head ready to go Ooh. and then beth would come in there trying to be bad that would be jason would just cut beth's yep. head fucking clean off i would love and it then, that would be that would be the best i wouldn't care if old backhead loses yeah beth is the most just cut that bitch's character. head off and fucking end it yeah piece of shit i'm gonna go with mm -hmm. old backhead jason but rip puts up a good fight and he dies in an honorable way because he's a good man other than i like you I, I don't know I, I like like rip is probably what brett Favre should have been probably all he should have. He, he's like what brett Favre should have been with all, all the scandal yeah, well, Brett Favre's not only probably a little bit racist, but he's also hates. I don't think he's people, racist. So that's what we I don't think he's out. racist. I just think no, he's, an he's probably not racist. Yeah, that's to be fair. He's definitely not racist. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, because the nah, you're gonna get sued, awkward. dude. You're just asking for him. Uh, everyone's a little bit racist, you know. Mm. I mean, I'm not. No, not. you are now. Now I know but you are. Most people are probably a little bit <laughs> that, racist. You brought I think it Rip up. Had a song about it. I think Brett made you a are. song about it. Hey. Avenue Q made a song about well, Avenue. Red. They're all, yeah, except I ain't for, believe in it. I ain't they said, it. except for we watched the movie, we're not. Um, hey, can we change the subject? I, I'm, I'm very uncomfortable. Good. Um, I hope so. Uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, I really am because I my, am. My balls been not. sweating for I the last just, few minutes. Yellowstone feels like it would have a lot of characters who were racist. Uh, I, yeah, I, you know, so but you just wanted to change the subject. I feel like we're on American Gladiators and we keep getting hit by beanbags. We live in Kentucky, so a lot of those those folks that we see end up being. They're in Kansas. Racist. I don't know what it's like in the Midwest. They're not in Kansas. You fuck. They're in Montana. They're in the Midwest. <laughs> I'm I noticed you're so quiet over there. Courtney Reed says, "I want some chili." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, chili sounds good. Let's put up a vote. Hey, do you think Yellowstone? Resident doctor who said, "How drunk are you, Mike?" I'm getting there um, myself. Well, listen, here's the thing, man. I, I've I've been housing fucking whiskeys. Oh God, I'm fucking bright. I look like you God. are. You look like I, yeah. I was like, hey, is this the end of our YouTube channel with God coming in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking you home, son. <laughs> I have to be fair. I've been housing. I've been housing some Acres Mark, trying to make myself feel a little bit better. But I'm not feeling better. I'm sweaty and I'm hot, and I'm cold at the same time. It's very strange. well. Either way, uh, who won? Who, who won the vote? Um, old backhead wins seven two percent to twenty eight percent. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you know, I think everybody called expected. that one. Yeah, no, to be yeah. expected. Um, uh, Michael says Aragon versus Dracula. Gary, old. That's a good Dracula. one. That's a good one. So you're talking about Bram Stoker's Dracula 
the one that licked uh, Johnny Depp's uh, razor blade. It was like, ah, mm, tastes I'm good. be honest. I don't know who the fuck Aragon is. is that Aragon's is that the Lord of the Rings, dude. Vigo oh, Mortensen. Vigo Mortensen. I don't know, man. I don't know. I got nothing. Yeah. No man shall bow to you. There's just a bunch of Strider. Movies, Strider. You know? Yeah, I think. Um, uh, you know what? Aragon might fuck that shit up a little bit. Dracula's easy. He's an easy choice, 100, percent because he's supernatural. The Gary Oldman character is cool, but he's old as fuck. He's got like a pompadour hair. Do Aragorn has got like he's got the command of legions, and he's also got the command of ghosts. If you're gonna go off Return of the King. He's like pumped up. He's ready to do it. Do Aragorn, Aragorn. I know I keep on saying Aragorn, but Aragorn wins that shit for me, hands down, easily. Okay. He's got the Shire. <laughs> he's got Legolas. He's got the elves. He can call in whoever the fuck he needs to call into. And Dracula has got nobody. <laughs> I just want to let you know I'm reading the chat right now. I hope you guys know I was fucking joking. That was a joke. <laughs> I think people thought what I was being what? serious about the, the racist thing. Like everybody's not racist. <laughs> I was joking. There's actually a song from a I don't know what you're talking. It's like oh, a musical. Yeah. Oh. That that's what I was referring to. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I knew you no, were saying that. I saw. I saw a plethora of comments that like, "Oh my God, Mike, you're drunk. Quit digging yourself a hole. I'm calling the cops. I hope Mike is drunk. I'm joke. It was a joke. Was Somebody said a said wellness God. check. I'm I don't kidding. believe it. <laughs> it was a fucking joke. I'm sorry. I'm, he's sorry, being, I'm sorry. He's being held hostage. I'm joking. I feel like I feel like fucking Trump. I'm the most thought racist person you've ever met in your life. I swear no, to God. Oh, you're fucking uh, lying. Yeah. Now I now I am digging a fucking hole. Um. No, shut I'm, your mouth. I'm sorry. It was, uh, shut it your was, mouth. That was, it was a bad joke. It, the, the joke was in reference to we live in Kentucky and there's a lot of really racist rednecks here who I can't fucking stand. And I, I hope yeah. they all get their dicks chopped off. That's what I meant. That was, also, was a bad the, joke. Well, there's my really apologies. racist people everywhere, but you know, it happens. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. My, my apologies. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry to fans of Yellowstone uh, for the things that I said. Anyways, can we yeah, if you watch Yellowstone, you're a fucking racist, uh, by the way. <laughs> That's Mike's fucking That's argument. What I fucking meant. Uh, Will McSwain says the crow versus into the Bra dragons. Bruce Lee. Well, wait a minute. Ooh. Who won the last? Who won the last poll? Uh, we already did that one. I, don't, I only know because it's gone now. What was the last? Poll? Oh, I don't know who won. I mean, uh, what was the last poll? I I thought we were just talking about it. I think we I think we covered it. No, uh, Jason won. Jason killed Rip. Jason killed Rip. Okay, he uh, killed that crow racist. The crow versus <laughs> he deserved it too. The racist piece of shit. Uh, the crow versus the uh, dragons. Bruce Lee. I think he got that's kind of. Fucked nah, I think up the crow way, wins, isn't it? The crow wins. Like, I think crow definitely wins that one because crow's supernatural. But so. it's also it's it, it's real. I mean, I'm gonna let it slide, Will, because you have a cute pick. Uh, but I'm only gonna let it slide because you remind me of Egon's like son. Uh, but but the crow is still it's still an action movie. I mean, yeah. I like. I mean, you could put it, you could drop it into horror, but I really, I've never looked at the crow as an action movie. <laughs> Tomo said, "Mike, if you dig any deeper, can you find the uncut of Event Horizon?" <laughs> please, can you please do that? Because the uncut Event Horizon would be amazing. <laughs> I dug so deep, I'm in space. Hey, I dug know, to the other side of space. Um, Mike's okay, so we... deep into fucking the earth right now, he can literally find out where Jimmy Hoffa was buried. Uh, <laughs> By the way, I will say I'm on a lot of antihistamines. But the There's the event there. horizon, by the way, if you guys want to know about that director's cut, it won't ever happen because apparently they just the 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 the, the cut's gone. It's gone. Yeah. It's just not yeah, there. That, that's total bullshit how that happened, by the way. Um but I would I, but I would pick I would pick the, the crow wins, by the way. Just a crow. beer, please. I should probably slow down on the hard liquor. Uh apparently. Uh, Michael Parton said Yellowstone is dump dumpster juice. There, I said it. You don't I have do to hide like it. it if you don't like it. <laughs> it's I like, like it. Dude. It's nice drinking whiskey material. Like you want to watch something fucked up where you know something dark's gonna happen and you can kind of like just join forces with that darkness. Yeah. Yellowstone's for you. I I, um, I didn't think I'd like it either, but I mean I kind of I kind of dug it. Yeah. Uh Slard Land Movie Podcast said Steven Skull's hair versus Steven Seagal's girdle. Uh the only person who wins in that are the girls that he didn't force to sleep with him to get parts in his movies. Well, I I think I'm gonna have to go with the girdle them. because the girdle is holding up so much right now. It's holding <laughs> up so much. The is hair that, what is a girdle? It's like it's like a fat, like it like it keeps your fat in. Oh, that's definitely losing that fight. Yeah, I think the girdle I, I think the girdle wins as far as like well, I mean it depends like the strength. The strength of the girdle is much more than the hair, because he, he like he like fucking LeBron James is his fucking 
air. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually scalped someone and put their brain their 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 their. No, dude, he doesn't. He's like, like apparently, uh, I don't know. Uh, it was Tom Arnold that told the story that he said that Stevens he was doing some movie with Steven Seagal and Steven Seagal <laughs> didn't want to rehearse the scene like at all. So when he came in, they were like, "All right, so we're just gonna." Do, he's like, "Yes, I want to do the scene." And then like he was like, "All right," so they were like, "Action!" And he started walking out a door that was like it was on a it was on a boat. And and one door led to nowhere, and it like literally dropped off into the ocean. And he didn't want to listen to anybody. So Tom Arnold said he was like, they were like action, and they told him like, don't go through that door. And he's like, I don't hear it. And he walked through the door, and, then, <laughs> and he fell into the fucking ocean. And they pulled him out, and they said like, you could see the streaks of black, like the 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 the, the, the spray paint was running down his forehead. Of whatever he uses, to keep I've his never hair. been less surprised in my whole fucking life, dude. Yeah, dude, Ever. I was like, oh my god, you. I wish that he had like recorded it, but yeah, it's definitely the girdle. Uh, they call me Stamp said, actually, no Arnold Predator versus the Creeper, no Arnold Predator versus the Creeper. Uh, well, you mean like from fucking twins or kindergarten cop? Which, I mean, which, I, which Arnold are you meaning? Let's just call it Predator versus the Creeper and throw it out there, like, um, because I think that's a pretty good question, actually. Um, the creeper predator, predator versus the creeper. Predator. Yeah, the original predator, predator wins. I think predator uh, wins. I actually, dude, I don't know. Like, like predators. Yeah, dude. Like, well, like if you look at it like this, the, the the creeper itself is like, um, he's like an exotic animal that the predator like ha had has probably come up against on on multiple worlds that he's hunted on. Like it can fly and it has all these unique things, but the predator itself has got like, like these badass weapons and like uh, technology. And the creeper doesn't but have predator that human never element. fucking wins though. Like predator, but, the, always but he always goes losing. against humans. The humans have that edge. The the creeper doesn't. But the creeper beats humans. So if the creeper well, the beats creeper humans, beats like beat the creeper beats Justin Long, which I would not well, consider our best. And to be fair, as we said, like that, those are just for movie plots. In real life, what would happen? Uh, well, depending know, on, dude, I'm, I'm actually gonna go creeper on this one because Ooh. he flies. He fucking he fly. He disappears into the night. He flies the fuck away. I think the, right. the creeper would actually scare the fuck out of the predator. But you know, the creeper could use shit. Veteran. The, the predator would look around with his fucking weird ass radar, and the creeper would just be butt fucking one of the predators and like licking his ear hole, and it'd probably scare the shit out of the predator. And the predator would run the other way because the creeper's nasty like that, you know. I think I, I think the think I, I think the predator would adapt to whatever he was facing. So the creeper is beyond human, so he would adapt to face how they, him. How they adapt to fucking mind game? No, I'm saying like it would it would actually try. <laughs> when the predator fights a human, he like lowers himself down to fight the human. That's true, but like I mean, cre but creepers got those fucking ninja stars, and it can fly, and it can. Yeah, but the then, yeah, he, his ninja stars is made of like bubble gum and fucking old ass <laughs> razor blades. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like naturally, like like yeah, I mean, like I, I think I mean, that's actually got, really I mean, good the, fight, the predator's got like a fucking boomerang that could go psh, and then fucking fly a, a, a thousand yards and kill whatever's in front of it. But All the you gotta do is cut like, the motherfucker's head off. Yeah, but the times. creeper's like one of a kind. Like he's his own thing. He's his only kind of his one kind. Predators, like a bunch of them. They're just like a bunch of regular dudes from this weird space that have the same technology. Like Creeper is a uh, fucking monster. He's the well, no, only one of his kind. Well, I know. So, well, he's a, he's adapted to be a hunter as well. But the thing about the predators, they come from a long line of hunters. Yeah, but they fuck up all the time. They're they they only good. fuck up against like smart ass humans. Yeah, I don't know. I think I, I just got it. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good, it's, but I think that's a really good fight. Uh, let's see what you guys say. They agree with you because uh, you're all wrong and a see if wrong. And then 69%, 69, uh, Predator, 31%, the Creeper. So uh, fuck you. Right, I, 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 the, the audience is hey, Gracho. I, I hope you choke on a churro. Um, the Mass says that that's a that's a cinnamon delight. Uh, well, then so, I'll choke on it gladly. <laughs> Soprano crime fam versus Cult of Thorn led by Michael. Oh, shit. oh man, good one. But I like it. I think the, the Sopranos knocked that shit out of the park. You can't be fucking with Tony. Tony don't give a fuck. He'll kill his own nephew to get the gold. <laughs> like uh, you got you got to be talking about Cult of Thorn. Cult of Thorn is literally. A family that is that is uh, around the idea of protecting Michael. The Soprano crime fam are all about power. 
and and keeping that power and making sure that their influence is felt everywhere. Sopranos kill it every fucking day of the week, man. They they'd wipe up they'd wipe out the cold of Thorn within three days. I'm actually in agreement with you on this one because I think that like Michael's the only thing that the Sopranos would have trouble with. Yeah. Tony would go, he would kick in one of those fucking doctor's houses and beat them with a belt like he did that politician. Yeah. One time. He would. Like, he would just fucking back Yeah, he would, forth. yeah. Um, the, the, the Sopranos family would fucking ruin the cult of the thorn, and all that would be left standing is Michael. Um, yeah. So that's really the only question, but I think all of them band together, uh, Michael would end up as fucking lunch meat. Yeah. yeah. Or unless, the unless, unless Tony was like, yeah, no. <sighs> Keep Michael. <laughs> Keep Michael I over like here. Ducks. Yeah, they could use Michael as an enforcer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm going Soprano. Can you imagine that? Like, what if Michael was like an enforcer for the Soprano family? Holy shit. And Tony Jesus lived? Christ. God now, they, damn. No, uh, Tony would probably join forces with Michael because he would see, he would see, uh, he would see someone he can get on his he's side. Like, he's Tony a good kid. Like that. He's a good kid. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. He's Just don't talk kid. about my mother. Uh, hey, you like Michael salamis? Probably- <laughs> the Warriors versus the Lost Boys. Come out. I mean, that's pretty. I mean, Michael. I mean, that's going to be pretty easy, though. I mean, you got the sexy. You got the They're sexy. Vampires, dude. Well, you, well, yeah. You've got. Um, They're gonna I was going to say Donald Sutherland, Kiefer. You got the sexy Kiefer. Uh, you got uh, Bill from Bill and Ted. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Alex Winter. Yeah. It's over. It's Lost Boys. It's, it's over. Lost yeah, Boys. the Lost Boys kills that. Hey, by the way, Lost Boys at Best Buy, the 4K, $9.99 right now for Black Friday. By the way, the, the Warriors, but if you guys haven't seen it, it's an awesome movie. The Warriors is a really good movie. The Warriors is good, but I, Lost Boys all fucking day, man. All day for me on that one. No doubt. <laughs> Doctor Strange first. <laughs> I love Jeffrey, Jeffrey dude. Man. <laughs> I just love his face. Like, I can see you asking this question. Doctor Strange uh, versus Phantasm Tall Mountain. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think Doctor Strange kills that because he can control reality. But again, we, we already said no superheroes. You, you threw another one in here, Jeffrey M. Listen, uh, Jeff. Put down the goddamn beanie. We I know that Jeff had, Jeff had a hard toilet situation earlier tonight. So I'm not going to blame it on what we said earlier. He was having a hard bowel movement. Uh, Listen, Dr. Strange wins. I mean, he can literally control goddamn the fabric of reality with his fucking rings of power. He's going to kill it. Yeah, I'm going to agree with that. And the the crowd agrees with us, by the way. The Sopranos crime family takes down the cult of Thorn 55 to 45 percent. We are we are nearing the end. We are. By the way, I was going to say, well, you know what? I know we, we can't do this, but I mean, I'll just ask. What do you think? What? I already know the answer because I mean, if it, this is not horror versus uh, action, but what if it was the Sopranos family versus um, the um, the the Godfather family? Oh God, Godfather family. They they have to win. They're too smart. They're, they're too, too smart. rooted. They're too rooted in in, in like like yeah. well, they're like the old school Italian mafia. They got too many roots. Yeah, like the Godfather, like Sonny was Sonny was the only one of the Godfather family who was obsessed with getting He's the, the firecracker. Constantly. Yeah, yeah, the entire Sopranos family is a bunch of fuck ups, really. Like yeah. when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, just like anybody would be. Well, yeah, like, yeah, you're gonna, you're you're talking about Al Pacino versus Tony Soprano. Yeah, yeah, this you're talking about like Bill Gates going up against fucking Tesla, like yeah, <laughs> like it's yeah, Bill, yeah, or they, Mark they, Zuckerberg or whoever, yeah. Yeah, uh, Stacey James says Rambo Rambo versus Reboot Jason Battle of the Woodsman. Uh, we did that. Well, we that did the, that. That was the first yeah. one we did, my friend. We did and do that Rambo, one. Rambo That's a great one, win. though. It's a good question. Um, we're nearing the end of the show, um, but we are going to get to the rest of these as we go. Sorry to cut it off early tonight, guys, but I feel like I'm uh, I feel like I'm I'm about a, at 102. percent That's all right, man. Um, I gotta I gotta, I gotta right go. Now. I got I've got like uh, my grinder is lighting up tonight, so <laughs> I've got to get got, on this. I got, I got the I've got like pets. three dates in three hours. I mean, what am I gonna do? I gotta wear curved cologne. What's the what's the what's their is it Bill or is it Bob tonight? No, uh they're uh they're they're uh, Miguel, uh Tyrone <laughs> and uh Lancaster. Because I'm not racist, you see. Yeah, Lancaster works at the gap, right? Yeah, Lancaster is from <laughs> Italy. <laughs> Did we answer Will on the crow versus? Oh yeah, we said that we said the crow. Yeah, we talked about say that. the crow. Yeah. Um, I, and again, I'm sorry to cut it short off tonight, guys. I just feel like a bag of fucking dicks. Uh, I feel you look like a bag shit. of dicks. <laughs> I, <feel laughs> fucking, I might pass out soon. Isaac Salazar, thanks, man. Says the main guy in the raid versus the version of Freddy Krueger who knew kung fu and Freddy versus Jason. Oh yeah, well I, I mean, still I, Freddy Krueger. You gotta give it with Freddy, man. 
Yeah, and like and, you know that was that was a terrible movie. I mean, I liked it for what it was. Obviously, uh, uh, Freddy versus Jason is not like a like you're not you're gonna it's not a Shakespearean play, but it like he still got the powers that he had in like Nightmare Three or Two or One. So. Yeah, Freddy's Freddy's hard to fucking deal with, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, Texas Tootin says, "Y'all ever seen that movie Action? There's a character named Breakfast that weirdly looks like Kevin Hart. Also, <laughs> Jay Mike." Beep boop bop boop skate kagoober yeet. God yeet. damn. Hey, if anybody out there in the comment section text tootin' having a goddamn stroke talking about the be the be and boo and boo bop skeet script. Yee that you got that junker and Ben Affleck in the way back. You need to take a fucking step back, son. Either Texas Tootin's gotta have a fucking stroke or he saw his goddamn child support bill this month. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tex Tootin, I didn't know what the fuck you just said because I can't even read the fucking words that you said. But I will say this to you right now, Tex Tootin. Have a Slim Jim, son. Calm down. Slim Jim, hey, don't mess with Sasquatch. <laughs> don't mess with Sasquatch, Tex Tootin. <laughs> Thanks, Tex. <Dick. laughs> Uh, Darth Vader Jones says, dude, mm. I'm black and I know you guys are not racist, but you guys are hilarious. I love the show. Keep the show forever. Uh, that's all that. good. Yeah, we were just joking. Uh, around. I know, we, I I know we're, we're not racist, racist, but sometimes you say things and you meet them in good fun, but the internet yeah. is the internet and you get real scared. Your butthole gets real tight for a second. And I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not all there right now. So when I saw people in the chat being like, what the fuck, Mike? I was like, oh shit. Did I actually say something bad? I'm sorry. Well, yeah. I'll tell you right now. I'm fucking sorry. But <laughs> what's what real though is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mike is racist though, Darth. Uh, I'm only racist against white people. <laughs> no, but that's a, that's a great comment, man. I, I like those kind of comments, man. Yo, you guys can, you know, listen, we can all have fun and, and have a good time and joke around and, <laughs> I and just myself in contempt. And, and like and just and drop the N word casually. It's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, we're not racist here. No, because oh. you know, thing, we don't focus on that shit, but there are people that will take one goddamn small <laughs> iota thing that you say and like make that a big fucking deal but by the way i wish darth vader's name had been darth vader jones because my last name is jones and i would have been basically, a much more badass but it's all good. it's basically jay when he's taking a taco bell shit darth mm-hmm. vader jones they call him uh april's like hey honey you okay he's like leave me alone <laughs> i do i was like there could be only one <laughs> leave me alone as you flush no so tyler here tyler rumpel with hey look that guy looks like a racist <laughs> Tyler Rumpfeld says, Mike, I'm okay. I'm good now. Love you guys. Hope one day we can all three pound it together. I meant beer. Jesus. I don't think you meant that at all. I think you said that afterwards because you were talking about pounded ass. I'll pound your ass. Let's son. get, don't let's get some, let's get me. some poopy waffles going. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you got to read this one from Courtney. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, Courtney, creep it, kill the whole lot of police force. It's a whole lot of. You know what he did? He he went from town to town and smelled the underwear and killed the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that creeper when he does that tongue thing, he does look like he's licking a butthole though. When he's like, "What do you think the What do you think the grosser uh, creeper is? The the original Jeepers Creepers or the second 100%, one? Hundred percent, definitely one hundred percent the original. When he rips that cum well, head off and makes that with him. Well, yeah, but in the second uh, one, when he's on the school bus and they're like high school kids, and he's like, mm-hmm. "That is gross." Like too, especially <laughs> that kid was like me. He was like. Mm-hmm. That's like, I like that. Uh, yeah. Anthony Fitzgerald says 78 Michael versus Bad Hand Jason. Different than we're doing, different what we're doing, but I'd say, I'd say 78 Michael. 78 Michael. Backhead's yeah. too stupid. He would just walk right. He'd be like uh, Ricky Hatton fighting Mayweather when he just runs at him and gets knocked the fuck out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ricky Hatton. <laughs> he'd, ha- he'd Hatton. have his fans. He'd have his fans. <laughs> oh, Crystal Lake. <laughs> James Smith with the hey. Wendy's bag drop. Uh, I forgot the name of it. I forgot the song. I was going to sing it. Gotta get that back. You gotta get the back. Uh, guys, can we get a match between multiple xenomorphs a la aliens versus the crew from Tombstone? Oh, oh, oh. dude, I almost, I do. I swear oh. to God, James, I swear to God, I was thinking about the crew from uh, the Tombstone, uh, but I, I didn't know how to put them up against uh, like a killer uh, or a horror movie uh, That's crew beautiful. or whatever. I got you. I got you. Xenomorph family. Versus Tombstone family. I'm putting it in the chat right now. That's going to be our last actual voted on one of the nights. That's beautiful. a daisy if you do. I'm your Huckleberry. I'll suck your toes. <laughs> Don't what? you, bunch of cowards. Don't you have any that got to play for blood? Go and skin it. Skin that smoke wagon. In fact, that's um, just not good. <laughs> that's great. He said, also, not sure if you covered this. What are your thoughts on Blumhouse and James Wan? We have not talked about that yet. So, Atomic Monster and 
Blumhouse are talking, they're in talks to join forces. So you'd have James Wan's company, Atomic Monster, mixing with Blumhouse. They would, mm. They're going to stay under separate tents, but they're going to work together to produce more horror. I say more horror is fucking beautiful. I love well, I, I like the idea on, on, the, on the surface level, but I, I like as long as the autonomy is existent like i mean if james wan could go and make his own thing without blumhouse being involved in what he's doing as far as like having any kind of control over what he's going to produce and also vice versa as well then i'm fine with it but if it's going to be one of those things where like yeah on the surface it seems good but then blumhouse says but nah bro you can't do this you james Wan, you we're gonna we're gonna control your um artistic outlook i guess i mean i look guys i mean i like blumhouse i do but i like competition too, also like it, it reminds me of like the wcw and the wwf like i like to have two separate companies competing against each other because that breeds more creativity well and also dude like i think that and here's the thing the reason atomic monster is probably doing this is because blumhouse has a first look deal with universal studios and if they mm. do this Atomic Monster will also have a first look deal with Universal Studios. And the thing about that is Universal is a bunch of fucking assholes. Uh, they're the ones who anytime a YouTuber covers any of their shit, no matter if it's yeah. dead meat, if it's us, if it's whoever, they block their shit. They don't want the free promotion. They want the money. They take all that shit. And they, they're the ones who make the poor marketing decisions when it comes to what you don't like about the marketing Universal? Halloween and shit like that. Yeah, it's all Universal, oh, yeah. man. Uh, Universal is not very uh, cool. Well, by the way, I, 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 legal uh, stuff. Uh, like a week ago, I like I actually got to watch for the first time the Tom Cruise The Mummy. Did you like movie. it? Should I watch it? No, uh, it's not I amazing. Off alone no, it's not bad. No, it's not bad though. It's not bad. But I got bored. I was bored. Yeah, and, I heard it. And, and what they what they suffered from, it, like you can see. I mean, dude, it's also got um fucking Russell Crowe in it. It, it, it reminded me a lot of uh, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Like he was bringing, and they That's tried madness. to they tried to name drop though, like the Wolfman, and you could see that they were trying to do this like um, shared universe because you know that that was the oh, idea. They were trying to build that, yeah, they're already trying to build it. It was like where DC fucked up, yeah, like with the Justice League. They were just like immediately they were like everybody was like because um, well I can't tell you what Russell Crowe is, but like they name drop his horror icon and then there's like another horror icon and you're like oh my god i got I, like it's so obvious yeah yeah and I, tom I, cruise the lines are terrible like tom cruise is a much better actor than the lines they gave him to say yeah tom cruise can fucking rule so if a movie he's in sucks you know that something went fucking wrong but yeah man that's 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 my thoughts on it i think that uh uh, more horror movies is good. I'm glad that. And the same thing happened. Walter Hamada joining um, with Paramount to make more horror is a great thing. Yeah. Studios have, I think the point is, is that studios have realized the only thing competing against Marvel in the theaters is horror. So get ready for horror to get fucking gigantic but over the next I years. want it to be, but I want it to be separate. Like I want A23 right. and other companies to do their thing. <laughs> 24. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tyler said Jason for Swamp Thing. Um, uh, swamp Thing wins that. Swamp thing he just takes that, Jason yeah. back down to the fucking I'll, swamp and like drowns I'll, him. I was going to say Swamp Thing or Jason, yeah. but Swamp Thing's too powerful, dude. Yeah, he's like got to go Swamp Thing on that. Danger Zone, Leatherface versus Hobo <laughs> with a shotgun. Leatherface. Isn't Leatherface really just a hobo with shotgun with a mask? <laughs> <laughs> like, a hobo with that's pretty much with the same chainsaw. thing, yeah. Uh, so in that in that respect, I guess I guess uh, I guess you would say hobo with shotgun, but still, um, yeah. Uh, where are we at here? Where are we at? Where I lost myself. Um, I lost myself. I'm having one of those Tony Soprano fever dreams right now. You know those episodes know, where Tony you know gets sick and he starts dreaming about yeah, like I know. Well, we, like, if, if we don't get super chest right now, I mean, we can always like. Uh, if you don't ooh. feel good, we could just like end it and then no, uh, yeah. I, I figure I figure we're at a stopping point. Like I said, I'm yeah. getting cold sweats, I'm feeling very strange. Uh, so I don't want to get weird. But the yeah. last one that we put up was Xenomorph Family versus Tombstone Family, and it, it was 50 50. It just changed 52 percent to 48 percent. I'm gonna give it a good old 10 second countdown before we finally call this last one because it was a real good one. Uh, mm -hmm. but we never answered our, our answer for it. So while we do that, uh, who wins the Xenomorph Family or the Tombstone Family? Skin it, skin that smoke wagon. I think there's just too much fire behind Wyatt's eyes to let it be gone. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> you go ahead. You tell them turds I'm coming. And I'm bringing it out with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna well, like. I, I'm uh, just. You know what? I'm. A, I'm a bitch boy for Wyatt Earp and and uh, Val Kilmer's Doc Holiday. I'm gonna go with Tombstone Family all the way through. Uh, <laughs> Jordan Cruz, right? Touch that gun, I'll burn it down. <laughs> Does that not sound uh, like a like a song to you when she says that? Touch my gun, I'll burn you down. Uh, uh, I was running up that hill, make a deal with gold. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going. To I see a man with a red sash. I kill him. <laughs> I think, dude. I think I, I I'm so hardcore the other direction. I think if the tombstone dudes saw a bunch of those xenomorphs coming up, they're gonna fucking go pale as a ghost. Probably how I look right now. They're going to drop their goddamn guns and their skivvies. I think the Xenomorphs fucking destroy the Tombstone family, just in my personal opinion. They never seen nothing like that. All right? They can well, barely you ain't, deal with drunks at the saloon. They have no idea what's coming with those you ain't, Xenomorphs. You ain't never seen no water. Where's Wyatt right now? He's down by the creek walking on water. <laughs> Yeah, fucking uh, 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 Val Kilmer is just sitting there drunk watching his friends get. By the way, can I can I got? We're gonna end it right here though, very soon. But like, can you guys tell me why Wyatt or not Wyatt? uh, My car is in the front yard. Val Kilmer did not win an Academy Award for Doc Holliday. Did he not? No, he wasn't even nominated. That's a that's a goddamn shame. He wasn't even nominated that year. That's bullshit, man. That was one of the greatest movies. Like, I, I, like, like there is no doubt if you go back to 1994 or 95 or whenever it came out, that was probably the best experience. Like, that was probably the best uh, actor portraying a character I've ever seen in my life. Val Kilmer as yeah. uh, Doc Holliday. Give me, Definitely get out of here. one of the greatest performances I've ever seen. Um, by the way, if you want to keep going, you can. You don't have to mm-hmm. stop on my account. Uh, no. Nah. This, no, we, you, I, I, I think going, we're going ahead. We go ahead and get out of here. I mean, it's fine. Um, don't worry about I'm it. Not, I don't want to be a party pooper. I'm not saying you. You do. Your fucking it's all right. Don't do worry about it. I ain't got streamlines either. Because if I was just, going. but if I was just doing it, it would just be like I can't see anything. <laughs> um. Uh. But well, I think that uh, who won? Who the won? Who dude? won the goddamn match? Uh, Zenimore family won fifty-two percent to forty-eight percent, and That's that right. ends. Text student. All right. Uh, Michael Myers did ask us a question in here. He said, uh, <laughs> Michael Myers don't talk. He said, uh, Michael Myers said, thought he types though. Uh, thoughts on bloody Christmas, bloody Christmas trailer. I hadn't seen that one yet. Um, that you sounds that familiar. One? I don't think I've seen it. Uh, I, I, I saw, I, I saw a new Grinch movie that's supposed to be a horror movie. Like they're doing a, a Grinch horror movie. Oh, maybe that's what he's talking about. I yeah, do want to that, it, well, that looked actually decent. It, it kind of reminded me of uh, of the other. What was the 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 the, the evil Santa Claus? Uh, or or uh, uh, well, there's a Santa Claus movie coming out next week with David Harbor. It's like a Die Hard Christmas, but it's Santa Claus. But it, to yeah. me, like I'm excited to see it. It's I think it's called Violent Night. But the mm. only thing I have to say about that is, and it's got Jay, John Leguizamo in it, which is great. But like. It does kind of suck, man. I mean, Mel Gibson did just do that movie. It was Santa Claus. Oh, the, the Santa, Santa yeah, Claus. that was great. That was a great movie. Yeah, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Do you remember the name of it? It's not uh, Fat Santa. No, it was called Fat Santa. I don't know. Fat, it, fat, fat, or man, die, fat Man. Or was it called Die Santa Die? It was something like it was something like it was really like it was Fat Man or Fat Man or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they they kind of just stole that idea and said, "Hey, we're doing this movie, but it's not Mel Gibson, so you can like it now." Yeah. Uh, so that was the whole thing about it. But I'm still gonna oh, see it. A uh, Crumpus. Uh, a Krampus, by the way. <laughs> you gotta know what a Krampus is before you know what a Krampus is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, guys, we gotta get out yeah. of here now. Batman we love you guys. Thanks, JT. Hey, we love you guys so fucking much. Clinton, next stream is maybe next week sometime, bro. Uh, hang on. It's gonna be like after my fucking interview with uh, Steven Spielberg, uh, right between the Tim Burton one on one. Looks like Tuesday. Tuesday the 22nd. That's what we got you booked for. Come on into the dental office. We're going to stick a finger up your butt. That ain't going to be true. What's what? Uh, That's the plan. I I do have a dentist appointment, bitch. I have one on Tuesday. Do you have one on Wednesday? Yeah. I actually have one. I actually. I have mine on 840 uh, a.m. On Wednesday? Yeah. Okay, so it won't be Tuesday. It will It'll be, be probably Tuesday. Monday. We'll switch days. Monday, we'll switch the day. It, so, it won't, boy, it won't be Tuesday. We'll, we'll, we'll we can do we'll an early out. afternoon stream. Yeah, we figure something out. I don't know. Yeah, it'll be don't fine. Know. Don't I, worry I, about I, it, guys. I, Stop I worrying about it, you racist once. fucks. I'm not opening it again, okay? I done <laughs> Let's did. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
Come on, All Wayne. Right. Let's run away. Well, <laughs> bye. <laughs> hey, love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. You guys Thank are the fucking best. Hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, more shit dude, look, to come. Dude, look, if my hair, I look like I just invented time travel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just, I like, want yeah. to eat. Yeah, and, and you like you lick the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fucking bed. Love you guys. See you Good guys. Night. Why is it just me? I'm alone in the dark.